There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin... is a bunch of guys. He's a bunch of bullshitter. Uh, welcome to Sleepy Cabin Season 2, Episode 9. Yeah. With my friend... Chad. My other friend... Hi, I'm Jeff. And my third friend... <laughs> Mick. And mm-hmm. I just got back from a two-week vacation in uh, Missouri and Illinois. It felt like forever, I gotta admit that. We missed you. Thank you. Let me tell you something. Um, so it's, it's something I, I say by accident, but I say a lot of really stupid stuff. And people, It's like my <laughs> Corey-isms, as it's been quoted. But I say Illinois... And it pisses Lexi off. Yeah, but do you do it intentionally? No, completely by accident. Because I'll say, we're going to Illinois. And then I'll be like, oh, we're in Illinois. And it's just, you, just you, inconsistent. This is just a funny, funny little thing you do. But you, you sort of add S's to a lot of words. <laughs> I do. But it's I'm on the S's. verge of having a list. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not even a list. It's literally, you're like, just adding here's the word, here's an S. On I the like end. to think that there's more of like every word I say. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's Illinois special. spelled with an S. Yeah. 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 So it kind of makes sense that you would think... You know, the problem with the English language, there's a lot of really strange words we have, and, like, there's a lot of words that are said the same way, and places in, like, Japan is, like, spoken one way, but, like, you say, like, there, 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 and there, there's, like, four different there's, but it all means the same. There's, like, that for, like, we take away letters sometimes, like, Illinois (laughs) isn't there, it's Illinois. Okay, before everybody gets mad, they don't mean the same thing. No, but, I mean, like, they sound the same, I guess. They don't mean the same thing, because there's, like, ownership and describing something. How many English words do we have now? Too many, especially with the Urban Dictionary rolling around. We also and we also have constantly like, making up words. I love the Urban Dictionary. There's like one word that bothers me. It's like sixteenth. Like, you mean like the fraction? Yeah, like the sixteenths of something. It's such yeah. a weird and strange word. And it's also just a like, weird number. If someone's using sixteenths as a if measurement, you're the sixteenths of something. Yeah, unless you're like an architect or something, I don't understand why you'd even be using well, that measurement. It, it, we just need to be like sixteenth. I'm sorry, what? Sixteenth. Sixteenth. No. Like I'm sorry, what's the logic of that? Seventeen, sixteenth, eighteenth. <laughs> <laughs> 20. You need, you 19, need your own 19. You need your own shoot off of English like like Shad, like a Switzerland has Switzer, Swiss German. Yeah. Yeah. You have Corey version. English. Corey. Uh, How did you pronounce baloney? B- baloney? No, what, there, there was one where I was like, oh, remember. Oh, you said, oh no. He said, I said cologne. 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 Yeah. That's how it's directly spelled. <laughs> and I, I sometimes I spell words directly. I don't know what it is. My brain doesn't work like others. Sorry. You know what's but interesting though? We've never had a situation where we didn't actually understand what you were saying. But if I said, what the fuck is Cologne, what would you think at that point? I, I would know what you were talking about. Do you, you know like, what I thought it was? I, I went out to a dinner party. I didn't have enough Cologne. I stank like a horse. Do you know what like, I thought you know, it what? what? I wouldn't was? say that because I know what the word fucking Cologne means. Oh, okay. I'm not going to be like... Oh, just when you I'm read it, like, you were like, what is this? What's this salad? Why do I need this on my salad? <laughs> I fucked up a word in, on an p- episode like 12 ago and some like 300 people called me out in the comments. Is it because you said it numerous times? I knew times? better. I knew better. But for some reason, I, vis- I don't say the word enough so I just visualized it in my head right. and I just immediately said it the way it was spelled right. oh yeah there's like a hundred English teachers so something foolish Sorry. I feel like it's not so bad of it if you drop it once like the ear pricks up yeah. but it's when when you're talking about a topic and you just keep saying it it's like taking a hammer and just nailing it further and further into someone's head every time you say it well there's one word I don't understand why it's spelled a certain way it's spelled Colonel? no the word a lot people okay. always call me out for that word and I, I, I have oh, the same two thing. separate I, words yeah, yeah so but it should be one. I totally agree. A lot. It should be one. There is also there are so many people who like call me out for it. They're like, "Are you retarded?" It's a lot. Well, there is another a word. Lot. There, there is the word to a lot. Exactly. Right. That's that's another point. Like I'm like, to allocate. What about a fucking lot where you park your car, or put mm-hmm. shit? A lot. Yeah. A, a lot. lot. It's like yeah, but it's a lot for a lot of stuff. He's like, yeah, this is why the fucking English language <laughs> you, needs a little tweaking. A word okay. I always misspell. <laughs> I've been misspelling my entire life is weird. Weird. What, I mix up, I mix up e? the I and the E. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Looks like it's wired. I spell it like W I E R D, and it's oh. E I. But it just doesn't look right to me. The funny thing about the word weird, this is going to be super nerdy, is yeah. that the old English spellings are like W-Y-E-R-D. Like, there's so many different spellings of the word weird. 
Yeah. So uh, you can't really blame can't blame Jeff. So people people out in movie land, if you can put in your weird words and like words that are spelled <laughs> weird, put them in the comment section. I'm I curious have one. to see more. I have one which is very notorious. Which one? Spell tongue. I fucking hate the word tongue. Okay, get your spelling <laughs> shit figured out. Everybody Oxford. Does. Oxford. <laughs> Whoever wrote tongue. <laughs> you can get an Oxford. <laughs> Stammer called me out for spelling the word ridiculous wrong for... He said, oh yeah, you've been spelling that wrong for the last decade. I, can't, I kept spelling that wrong. Too. Oh, do you spell it with an E? Yes. Do you know oh, how, no! Do you know how I used I to... I didn't realize. I didn't realize. <laughs> do you know how I used Ridiculous. To, do you know how I used to spell rough? Don't. I don't know, even. I know. Don't even. Are you no, don't, don't. No, 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 you didn't. Like, yes. That's no, you watch, no, you didn't. That's because you watch too much Simpsons. You see Duff Beer. And you're no, like, that's rough. no, it's not it. It's because it's so much easier to spell than what the actual word is. Because it's like... <laughs> Through, though, rough, and you don't think of yeah, that. You're just like, rough like is just R-U-F. It's, it's like, yeah, no, it's like you dog bark. <laughs> you watch it, it's, it's like kids who learn spelling from, like, Tom and Jerry. Like, when you see, like, they're really poorly written letters, and you're, like, trying to, like, they spell cat with a I K and shit. I do it so much, too, and I always, and, and this is something I, I shouldn't be doing, and it's, I, I learned eventually that there are and there is, I've learned that. I've mastered that. Sometimes I fuck up, but for the most part, I can figure it out. Mm -hmm. But now I lose my fucking mind and put commas everywhere. I don't even know where commas is supposed to. I, I say a word, comma, word, comma, comma at a random, it's like that's where the period goes and then you do a capital letter. I'm like, no, it's still a run-on sentence with commas to get it all. There's, There's people that overuse there. comma, underuse commas. There's I people who use quotes them. too much. They just start quoting random words in their sentences for no reason. Oh yeah, this is like, this is like saying like, I was going to the store today. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to it's the like, store. It's like, like what the fuck were you doing? <laughs> They say that as like a build up, like I was going to the store and guess what I ran into? It's like, were you at home? <laughs> you know, another thing I find kind of strange is that how the English language has certain words that are spelled the exact same way. Yes! But they just choose to pronounce them differently. Yeah! You know, like Yale University mm -hmm. is jail. It's spelled the exact are you same serious? way. Yes. Wait, what? No, it's not. Yes, it is. What? I thought Yale spell was. Spell Yale and spell jail. Oh, J. Oh. A I L. Yeah. Yale. Oh yeah. What the fuck? Okay, no, I know you're talking about What? Chad. I thought it was Y A L E. <clears throat> no, it is. What? Chad, Chad's just Chad's no. being German. <laughs> He's being Swiss <laughs> German. No, no, but I got it. He got, got it. Right. Right. He just got spelling it. trolled you, dude. Or you got it. No, I didn't troll him. He got it. He did. I won that. You won that fifth troll. grade spelling. But there's game. also regional dialects. Like I get upset at my family members. Like I say car wash. Thank you. Rather then there's, than then there's people in upper upper New York State they'll say car wash. Car wash? Yeah. Yes. I was just Actually, talking to you about like that. Just talking to me. Or water versus water. Like a lot of my family members say water instead right. of water. Right. You know, like Pokemon. I always say Pokemon, and I can't help. It's it. not a word though. Like Pokemon, but the term is people are you supposed to say Pokemon because it's pocket monsters. Yeah. But I say fucking Pokemon, like I Poka, say Pokemon. But it's not. It's Pokemon, like pocket. But it's polka. It's you, so weird. You and I hate the word. In you say Fighter. Mario. Yeah. And I say Mario. I've never said you Mario. You and Tom say Mario. Yeah. I say Mario. But it's like, it, you mean But the you same know how wrong that thing. is, right? Like, it's not M E R I O. Because it would be like M A R I O. I don't say Mario. I say Mario. Yeah, Mario. Yeah. Like, Merry Christmas. That, that's with the knee. <laughs> but then it would be spelled M E R R. The only thing that I would think was passable besides Mario would be Mario. Like, Pat. Mario. Mario. No, but it's Mario. Italian. You have to. Mario. Mario. Yeah. Mario. Yeah, that, that's, Mario. that's the correct. Every he, time you Shad, say I Mario, love your Italian he accent. says Mario. You disrespect. I wish you always had an Italian accent. He says <laughs> Mario. He doesn't say Mario. He says Mario. That's Luigi, actually. Luigi says Mario. He doesn't say Mario. He's like, Mario! He's like, yeah. Mario! <laughs> who, who the, all right, wait. Who are the two main guys in the Street Fighter? Name them. Uh... I'm gonna say Ken and Ryu. Ken and Ryu. There you Ryu. Go. I say Ryu. People say Ryu. Yeah. But it, that's another thing. So people... maniacs call him Ru. Uh, what? Ru. Yeah. Ken goes. Wow. What, I've what, always said... I bet their their fucking hipster fedoras are just. I've always huge. said Ryu. No, God, that worked for Capcom. He got he actually worked on the game. <laughs> you know what? Ru. And then he got fired. Weird. Fuck that asshole. Weird. <laughs> it's like that one guy, which I don't understand, and I'm for what people have always said. You know the term GIF. He says it's GIF or yeah, GIF. Okay. That's what, what, it. No. But I I say GIF. Is, I say GIF. I say GIF. I don't care what he says. I say GIF. If it was GIF, it'd be fucking GIF 
peanut butter, moron. Right. It doesn't, it's not spelled the same way. It's not G I F peanut butter. And I'm retarded, There's so no fuck you. There's no reason it should be called GIF at all. Corey, that's no, like such a programmer, not such a no is, common sense programmer thing GIF. to say. Corey, yeah. I, the SWF files. Yes. Do, do you know people who say Swift? I, I say that. I've heard Swift. I say, I say SWF. I can't say Swift. I can't say Swift. I can't bring either, myself yeah. to say Swift. Yeah. yeah. It's like I don't say. I say JPEG. You call FLA flaws. Yeah. Yes, I do. Do you really? Yeah. On occasion, I'll say. Yeah, but I mean, look how, proud, look how smug he is. He's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. But it means the same thing. It's not saying GIF or GIF. Can you just give me my flaw, flaw file. Everybody needs a little flaw. No, can you can you export it out to a Swift? I'm not like this to Jeff. I'm like, hey Jeff, I'll give you the flaw. Can you give me the <laughs> Swift? Can you give me the Swift I'll file? Smack your glasses <laughs> up your face. You said that to me. Give me the flaw, please. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Fired. Wait, you say PSD. PSD? Yeah. Yes, I say PSD. So the website, the website where people post popular photos or rip other people's cartoons and put them into gift sets is called Imager or Imager? I say Imger. Imger. I say Imager. I've heard Imger. I say Imger. Imager. It's Imager, but I say Imger sometimes. Imager. In my head, I, say, I think Imager. I always say Imager. I know. I always say Imager. It's Imger, but I, yeah, I, I guess I do say Imager more. And people are like, it's Imger. It's like, it's not. Okay, you can go eat your fucking za. We do the key. One website where people share like their flash videos has like a tank as a logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you pronounce it? Fucking shit. Oh, wow. I'm just oh, joking. Dude. I'm just joking. Look at, Look at it. I don't even think Jeff can... <laughs> What a jerk. I'm just joking. I love Newgrounds. You know, not not to get um, racially insensitive around here, but there's like the letters for the sign Newgrounds. I'm just going to say every single time Shad's here, he puts a big smile on his face. He walks over to the letters and rearranges them into racial slurs. Newgrounds. You, you guys... <laughs> You guys can figure it out, I'm sure. I missed it. Did, didn't he? Didn't you say something in the last podcast? Something a little, a little risque. Uh, you do know I'm half black. I can throw the word around. He can say yeah. the n word. It's one of those. It's one of those. You said um, you said no. filthy n word. I Still, believe. I can say I, I can say filthy. Oh, you, you're giving yourself a free pass. Of course, I have a black card. You want to see it? <laughs> I don't look black enough. I don't even look black enough to be able to do that. Nigga, I'm gonna take away your black card. <laughs> I never had one to begin with. I wish I I don't did. think I've ever heard you say nigga. I do say I just shoot some nigga. That's funny though. Because you, you're are quoting. You, you're, what's his name? Um, Chad Warden. Chad, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> you know Chad Warden? Remember him? I remember that. He's like, the I shoot some nigga. Yeah, Yo, he what's, what's, a, what's yeah. a Swiss yeah. derogatory yeah. term okay. for Germans? Germans. <laughs> Shut up. I actually can't. Uh, Nazis. Is that what you just call them all Nazis? That's a bad word for Yeah, them. it's a bad word for them. Oh. See, I can shit on Germans because I'm German. Don't you call them idiots? Idiot? That's a water person term. No, he doesn't no, where's that from? Uh, what, what does that mean? I've never heard that. I don't know. I it's, it a, it's an American colloquialism of idiot. You know what I used to say to kids in class? And what? It, it, like, it actually sounds much worse the way you say it. Okay. I used to call people learning disability. Oh, wow. I, but I would say, like, you're LD. Right? I'd be like, you're fucking LD. But that has so much <laughs> negative derogatory behind it, it just makes it sound like, like a fucking insult. Like, if I go, you're really LD, they will be like... Well, I'm telling the teacher because that's an insult. If anybody's like learning disabled, there's literally no phrase you can even call yeah. them anymore without even though retard means triggered. idiot. Uh, mouth breathing, dribbling, <laughs> baby face retard. Can I say that one? Is that what's still available? Fucking mongoloid. I can, I can hear, I can hear the rumble of the tumblers coming for your head, dude. You know, Whatever, like, dude. Smells like the mo like mongoloid 101 is written on the door or something. Can you guys think of like one of the most offensive words someone could call you, but it has to be a single word? Uh, liar. Mm -hmm. that's if one. somebody meant it and straight up said that that's what I was, I would try to stay as calm as possible. But it depended on how, like, vehement they were about it. Like, they, a, if I, I really thought they thought that, and you could see it in their eyes, you know, like, their eyes are kind of glistening with sincerity. Like, big eyes, I'd fucking, I'd be pissed. Kind. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> Honky. I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean? Who fucking cares? When someone says, I'm wrong. Oh. That sets me off. Yeah. I don't realize it until much later. Then I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> I always thought, I see, because I thought it was Olaf. I thought that was the word that set Olaf? you off. Olaf. No, that's just, that's just a waste of letters. <laughs> that's not setting anyone off. <laughs> what about you, Shed? Human. Oh my god. You know, I thought you guys were asking a real question. This is why people call you an edgelord. Edgelord. <laughs> Human. What Human. did you just call me? 
Edge Lord. What about a meme? No, I'm just joking. Get out of here. <laughs> With your big old smile. Okay. <laughs> you can't hide it. So we we pretty much knock the fucking dictionary off about words. Yeah. You know, I think that the thing about words that really bothers me more than anything else is the people that care so much that they feel yes. the need. It, it's not even the yes. need to correct you. Yeah, okay, look. It's like people want to correct you. That's one thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. If it's like, oh, you know, like they mention it in passing. You know, that's that's one thing. But when I feel like they straight up climb up like 40 steps to the top of their pedestal, their ivory pedestal, like they're the fucking king of words. Yeah. It's just like, dude, seriously, who fucking cares? That, it's like king of word mountain. Yeah. When you when I make a post or something yeah. on Twitter, so to say, I know it's weird where all this stuff comes from. It's Twitter where I have to spell and there's hardly any good I purposefully there. misspell shit on Twitter. But on Twitter, I mean, I have 140 characters and, you know, I'm not going to write complete sentences all the time. But when I'm like saying something like, oh, I really like this movie, I really like this game, or I really like this or something, or something's bothering me, and then somebody will be like a uh, word asterisk or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, dude, like come on. I'm just trying to say something and I don't need a, a fucking grammar teacher to fucking be there. I can understand yeah. if you're doing it like somebody's insulting you and you right. use it as like a right. your right, asterisk right, and you right. fucking own them. Sure. But this isn't that case. <laughs> I'm just trying to talk. This, this is the most this is the most teen girl thing. I, I think Do you mean own or, or pun them? Own. P- pun? You own. Th- I like own. Got pun it. was always lame as H. Sorry, you were saying. I was saying this is like the most teen girl thing that goes through my brain but like when I post let's say I post a piece of art on Twitter and I say something and then immediately gets a bunch of favorites and retweets and then I, then I notice the misspelling yeah oh. and I'm just like fuck <laughs> I do the same yeah. thing I'm the same way when I sometimes you know when I write oh. like comic panels yeah. and I crop something and put it like as like a preview it's so people can check out the site yeah. and at that part where I cropped it's like misspelled and oh, you're saying something really cringy so and, I'm, no. and I'm, it makes me look like I'm autistic oh, <laughs> I'm like hovering you know, over the delete button I'm like yeah. <laughs> You know, there's a real easy solution to that. Yeah. It's do a lot of misspellings intentionally all the time. I do. So when you actually write something and misspell something, you can just chalk it up to, to you could. being a shitty speller. I went through this weird phase where I was capitalizing words constantly. Does anyone, do you <laughs> know what that is? Phase? What does that yeah, mean? It was a phase. What does that it, mean? It passed by. I was writing a letter to my grandma. And you know how on the computer, I generally like, I don't capitalize words and I don't capitalize names. I'm sorry, I always forget. Like, I, I try to capitalize specific words. But when I was writing to my fucking grandma, it looked like a psycho wrote it. <laughs> I was writing it and I had every single other word capitalized. I had T's and random E's capitalized and I'm like she's gonna look at this and like think I'm troubled because I can't fucking and not only that I didn't know what she's to write. She's gonna circle every capitalized letter and try to like spell out what you yes. really meant. I was so I'm Rearrange like. Rearrange all the letters into Corey's Yeah meaning. so I'm like hi grandma it's been a while and, and like everything is capital except for Ben and hi and she's just like like she'll look at this and be like what I the fuck. I would love to see those letters and mail them to police. No no <laughs> And not only that, the but forensics my forensics guy's like, we have to find this man immediately. <laughs> not only that, but I can't like write on a straight line, so the shit's all like curving, and it's like I haven't done this in so long. It's too writing like spirals and shit. Corey's kind of like a scary serial killer, but he hasn't actually hurt anybody yet. No, I can't. I, I, I it's I'm like the the starting out, the first signs of like a crazy. But do you mean like that guy who ate those two kids and then like wrote a letter to their parents, how he enjoyed eating them, but he's sorry. I was what? thinking of that. <laughs> Example what? specifically. When did that no, happen? No, I forgot his name. Something with fish as the last name. And he like <laughs> Phil. <laughs> no, 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 Phil Fish. That's the only name that comes to my but, mind. He got really angry on Twitter because people were making fun of his game. He they said it kids. wasn't. They said it wasn't as good as he thought it was. <laughs> he got so angry he deleted his Twitter account, went out and ate two kids. <laughs> Little room. And then made a game about it. Clear. A fucking text adventure. No, but he That's wrote scary. like a letter to their parents describing how like he enjoyed the boy's ass the most, like when he ate it. No, no, no this is real. This is real. <laughs> Why do you keep pointing to Jeff? I know that Jeff enjoys good food. He's you know what? Speaking about restaurants, I talked like spy versus spy. I talked to this. Sake. I talked to this to you, Mick, and what? this is something that bothers me. It's almost like a Seinfeld fucking Larry David moment. Yeah. It, it was just. It's always something on the back of your mind that you're just like, why does this happen? Like you go to a restaurant. And let's say you order something like fucking spaghetti or steaks or stuff that's going to get all over your face. Right. And it's not because you're a messy eater. It's right. just there's sauce there's on everything. There's a lot everything. of stuff going on. Yeah. And they give you one fucking napkin. Yes. And it's just like, here's your water. Here's your napkin. And then yeah. they leave. And it's just like, by the end of it, your napkin is just cut brown and orange. You don't want people to see it. Yeah. And you're rubbing gunk on your face again because you still... <laughs> 
fucking using like the same every napkin. corner of the napkin's eaten up. So if you had to take a shit and they just hand you like one single sheet yes. of toilet paper and they're like, all right, good And luck. I'd be like, no, give me four at least. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what happens afterwards. Some restaurants are definitely criminally under napkin you. Yes. Yeah. And I know. And, and then maybe, when you ask for it, you have, you feel like such a slob. It's not even like a thick, hearty napkin. Yes. It's a very thin, oh, yeah, like, like, like toilet paper. You go to paper fucking napkin. diners and it, yeah, it's like toilet paper. Yeah. And they put it on the table and you're just like, this is... You know, I could go to Dunkin' Donuts down the street and get more like satisfaction out of their fucking. Napkins. You ask for another napkin, everyone in the restaurant just like looks at you and like, ugh. That's the thing. They're all too. disgusted at you. And the I know manager it. comes by with a towel and it's like, <laughs> ugh, here you go. That really is. Clean like yourself up. Clean yourself up. Get the like, hell out of here. It is, it's and it's like, something it's like that this bothers tiny me. Little thing, but, but it bothers yeah. me, and it should bother everybody because when you <laughs> eat food, you're not like one napkin. Well, you put one in your fucking lap if you got one. I don't know. Have you ever seen? Every single time I see those movies of like those dainty gentlemen. Like in those English movies, yeah. it's like they have one little handkerchief and they have like one finger. They just dab the corners of their mouth. What kind of movies do you watch? Fucking Downton Abbey, I've the show. That. Not the movie. <laughs> that one fucking finger. I don't yeah, even know. one between, finger. Between and, and, glowing guys. You like, you know, <laughs> set up <laughs> <laughs> I pull my head up from their lap just so I can catch the, the those scenes. My favorite scenes. Nothing I was watching sexier. a porno and a girl got splashed in the face with cum, and then a napkin came in and dropped her face while she's just still enjoying her. <laughs> I, don't think I like it if it would just say. like came up from the bottom of the screen, just like that's what I'm saying. Like a finger puppet. <laughs> you could, somebody up. take a porno of a girl getting a facial and do one of those Photoshop tricks where they're putting napkins on their face afterwards. No, the thing they do most in those you know often, the, the, the thing that I notice most is they just do a cutaway and it's just gone. Like it's just like clearly there was a cut here, and then like, everyone got cleaned up. The makeup's back on. The, the cushions are all back on the couch. I'm like usually, everything got reset just for the end. I'm usually turning the porno off once the cum starts. <laughs> are you a, a cumophobe? <laughs> I don't. I don't like like when they're like splattered. That's just okay. So so tell us. Sorry, Jeff. You, why are you disgusted by nature? <laughs> yes. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Okay. Corey, Sorry, your trip. Either. I'm sorry. How, how was your trip? I, I derailed it. Uh, well, first of all, I want to do an disclaimer. I might <laughs> yell because like, I'm fairly angry about this trip, but I'm angry about certain things and I'm angry about services I accepted and I'm angry that they still do it this way, but I'll get into that. But I'm just, disclaimer, I may get angry. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it's I'm like, very <clears throat> curious. So, You've I, my me and Lexi, we went to Missouri to visit my mom. Um, she's like a recent, like, Seventh Day Venice, is that what it's called? Basically, she believes everything in the Bible. Okay. She believes there's going to be a, a thing in the future where they're going to pass a law where you have to go to Sunday church or they're going to, basically, you're not going to be able to buy or sell. So, you're not going to be able to be a human being. You're basically like, you, you didn't go to Sunday? Uh, well, you're grounded from life uh, that day. What the hell happens on the grounded day? Well, you, you can't buy or sell, and you're like... She also says that Jesus will come down, and he'll be, like, me, touching people and, like, you know, healing them. But Jesus is not supposed to touch the ground. His feet never never touch the ground. And if he does, that's Satan. Yeah. This is all stuff my mom taught me. And I learned about the story of Adam and Eve because I never knew it. And now if I he's knew. wearing if he's wearing Nike sneakers and they have very thick soles, does that count as well, him? Well, if touching he's touching the ground, the ground and he's not on his fucking like youth cloud, then yes. Oh. I would love I would love to. Wait, see wait, wait. Are you saying if he's not in the cloud like the Mario guys who like throw the spiky ball? He's gonna be come down with angels upon him. And he won't touch the ground because he because it the the ground. He'll is, have a fishing not, rod. <laughs> he'll he doesn't touch ground. He's like above ground because he's sacred, so he doesn't want to touch. Well, the Satan so has we, corrupted so earth. About the ground now. Satan has corrupted earth, and he won't touch ground. Got it. So what if it, Satan though isn't touching ground? Satan touches ground. He controls he, he, earth. He can't. This yeah. is all stuff I learned from my How mom. How much? about Satan is literally how much is actually in the Bible I've read that there's not really that much about hell and Satan really even in the Bible no she says that it's just sort of made up it's like somebody read Dante's Inferno and they're like this is what hell is now but my mom but believes the there isn't a heaven yeah. and hell what happens is you're corrupted by Satan and you believe that there's a heaven and hell but what really happens is you're kept there until the rapture and you're left there with Satan you don't go anywhere like, you stay there, and the ones who are good are brought to the utopia where everything is perfect and pure. That's what she believes. And I was like, okay, well, let's get this, like, stuff out. I don't know. I don't even, like, she's, send she's sending me pamphlets with golden cities and people in white coats laying with lions. <laughs> sounds a little insane, if you ask me. I've seen the pamphlets. That, I was going to say, that sounds a little sacrilegious to lay with a lion. That sounds very it, sexy. Well, it's like, no, it's like the lions where the lions eat 
because they say the reason why there's murder, death, famine, all this stuff is because Adam or Eve ate the apple and tricked Adam into eating it too. She's trying to convince you though with and these that pamphlets. Caused sin. Like she, she's actually trying to like she's sending you pamphlets that are convincing you. Well, she thinks the Bible is real, and well, I just think it's a but, book of morals. Do you sure she's not just lying? Well, here's the thing, and it's kind of funny because I was watching Cable Guy with Lexi. There's this scene where the cable cuts, and all these people are sitting there in the fucking TV dinners and like in their like football jerseys, about ready to watch the that bar. You know that like cliche thing where everyone's at the bar. Yeah. Yeah. What happens is there's this one guy who's watching TV and he's just like, like the TV goes out and then he looks to his side and there's a book and he grabs a book and starts reading it. And that's exactly how my mom became into religion, how she is now. The TV went out and she started reading the Bible. And then she was converted. And she, be, she looked in, and my mom's a conspiracy theorist, so she looks into theories and oh, so she see. sees stuff in the Bible and she sees stuff that people say on DVDs about real life and she's like, it's all true. It's all true. It's so weird because I feel like, I mean, I, <clears throat> certain conspiracy conspiracies, I feel like, you know, you can see the ridiculous nature of this, but you can also see the tie-in with certain things, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? But with a lot of religious stuff, I feel like the amount of information opposing the logical connections that you could possibly make yeah. um, for religion, I feel like there's just such a, a disproportionate balance. Like... You could pull out a few facts here and there and tie them together to justify certain, like Noah's Ark is up in some fucking mountain or whatever, but you could, there's like billions of facts that would totally just wash that away. That's a metaphor, you know, like that? That would wash away in a That's flood good. of fucking logic. People, the like conspiracy that? people, they love knowing something you don't. They love, they love it's true. knowing And they secrets. love passing it on to you, so it's like, oh, you didn't know this? You don't know people. people. You know, this is, this is where Noah's Ark is, you know, I see this... Weird looking rock on the top of this mountain, you know. That's and they they feel they feel like you know. Well, I know you know nobody believes me, but I know it. They don't, and I don't know. Yeah. It's you know what's weird it's though weird. is what's like a lot of times when they when they get get information like that, when it doesn't change their minds. Like you know, like there was all of like the um, every single time there's the apocalypse guys or like the world ender guys who are talking about oh it's going to end at this time on this day in this place, and everybody gathers. They all give this person a ton of money, and they're all ready to die, and then it doesn't happen. And like oh shit. Um, Oh, so you know what? I misread it. It's actually in twenty. It's in another month or whatever. It's like how how do people not just absolutely lose full credibility at that point? It's like they believe so hard that even if you gave them, even if you proved to them that what they thought was right is wrong, they will still somehow spin it to continue to believe. I think what it really comes down to is people would like to think that there's more to life than what you have. Of course. No, that, yeah. Obviously. Yeah. I also it, believe it's a common thing that, like, the sensualization, I can't say the word, sensualization of disaster. Centralization? No, sen- I can say sen- sensational. Sensational. Sensationalism? Yeah, of disaster. Yeah. I couldn't Sensational. say the word. But that is, like, a common thing you see throughout humanity. She's that they me. love making a sensation out of disaster. Sure. People have such short attention spans, too, because if you want to look at something interesting go to wikipedia and look up uh the amount of end of the world dates that have been announced over the last few centuries there's like hundreds of them hundreds what's yeah. the most recent one 2012 i believe probably th- there was ones even after yeah, that there was probably one in 2000 because that, then they were trying to say that the calculations were wrong due to leap years or whatever the fuck there was is. that goof there was that goofy yeah not too long ago there was a guy who based you know you know these guys who somehow figure out math equations from the bible they a they put together dates and numbers, and yeah. somehow, oh, it's like June sixth, two thousand fifteen. Oh, because the Hebrew language is based on numbers. Yeah, and they'll try to use like topical events to prove it. Like, see, you follow this trail of, of events of wars that happened in the Middle East. And I've seen people around here. They used to have this date shit written on the side of the van, like the end of the world is coming this date. And they have these, these they have these followers. They sell all their belongings, and they're yeah. like, "Well, I'm just gonna wait a few weeks, and that'll be that." And then <laughs> nothing happens. Yeah. And then you see that van a year later, and he's painted over one of the numbers. Uh, with a new number. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What was I talking about? You were talking about your mom. You were talking about her religious conversion. Yeah, and my my what the how I, you were at the dinner table and she just couldn't stop talking about reptile Obama. Yeah, but my stepdad, <laughs> my stepdad also like he he's a I, I don't know what you call it, but it's like a, a new type of thing. It's like the new age kind of. He believes in the new age faith, I think it's called. This is the new world order. Crystals? No, it's not the new world order. It's, okay. it's not Jordan D level. Like, okay. like, I don't know, man. Seventh Day Venice already sounds pretty <laughs> out there for me. But, Listen, okay. yeah, I mean, but it's also like, there's, it's to give you a general idea of yeah. what she, she, so she believes that the first day is Sunday and the last day is Saturday. And that's what she says was in the original Holy Bible. 
and that has been completely misconstrued by everybody else. Oh, because by pagans. of the Sabbath, keep the Sabbath holy, which is Saturday. Yes, I heard that. That's yeah, important. and that, so that's why she goes to church on Saturday, and she's like, because I don't want to be. It's true. I, I believe in everything. But that in the has Bible. been changed. That is very. That is actually a fact, though. But see, like when people make changes like that, what? What are you saying to everyone who was doing it before? Like, everyone before, the billions of people before you were all wrong? Well, the thing is, what happened was, it was, I'm like, just saying, it kind of undermines the, the, the other religious people that I guess you'd kind of consider yourself yeah. related to. Well, this to. goes back in the fucking, like, the, the Renaissance, right, like, the okay. Crusades and shit, where they changed it, like, Sunday, because, like... When the hell did the seven-day week even start? Of all like the things in because the, God created earth and heavens and hells or but I did, second, it, did, it's did it pre God because uh, there's a lot of like uh, what are those like the, those old Nordic yeah. gods yeah, yeah, like yeah. Thor and all those like Thursday was oh yeah Thor's yeah Day. that's right yeah yeah so that yeah, existed maybe before the before Christianity. Christianity okay look I don't know exactly what it is and I am believe it or not, completely ignorant to the idea of what I'm talking about, yeah. but this is what I was told. Oh, no, no. I, and and I, it may be a little foggy, and I may be getting stuff wrong, so people in the comments will probably I actually think that's out. more interesting to hear not their side of the story, but to hear what you heard. Like, you're sitting there across the dinner table just yeah. being inundated with this shit. I'm curious what you actually walk away with. Of course, you're, you're this completely knowledge. interesting, even though I know it's all religious bullshit, I'm really interested in it. Yeah, yeah. no, <laughs> like... read out some of those pamphlets you've got. I got pamphlets and, like, DVDs like the New World Order and stuff and she has DVDs that talk about years of stuff like you know with the Crusades where they like the, they killed people who didn't believe in religion yeah and then they made something well, they killed a lot of Muslims then yeah. didn't they and they, the then that's like they created like all these like religious figures and then people started like ruin fucking up religion and like you know like how there's also this other thing okay I'm gonna get into another story there's a guy I think his name was Paul where he, he saw a woman who was white who had 12 stars around her head who came down from the heavens covered in light who was pregnant and then a three-headed dragon was going to eat her and did eat her. He wrote it down on like tombs or whatever the fuck you call them and he gave them to the people and that like like people like the Catholic Catholicism 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 those people like that believe that um in Mary and stuff that's the reason why they like kind of believe in Mary because she came down that was pregnant and they saw that as they a saw sign a dragon. no the Mary came down they saw so Catholicism was based off like they think that's Jesus like that where does that we had a dragon come in and that where's the Satan. 12 starred woman come from <laughs> that's she I don't know it's like it a, sounds like a <laughs> like a devil may cry boss I, it like, sounds like it sounds crazy devil may cry that's like Christianity <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but I was told all this stuff at like literally like the last day, and I was just like, "Does she go to one of those mega churches, or is it like a regular sized church?" It's like an indie church where people go to church. <laughs> okay, it's like a hipster church, yeah, hipster. like a smaller church, it, not, the one, Saturday, the, not, not the one where the not the one with the pastor owns yeah. like a they, private helicopter. Yeah, no, <laughs> they got a food <laughs> banquet. Everybody talks to each other like, "Yeah, we know we're at the exclusive Saturday church. Uh, we know more." <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, I, I mean, like I'm <laughs> On obviously Sunday they see people going to church. They just look at them and scoff and like nudge flex. each other but like it, look at those like, guys you know like you know like Mary how she, Mary birthed Jesus in like the crib or whatever in the yeah. barn with all the animals and yeah. there's like all those like Joseph and fucking people around her yeah. Mary they saw the pregnant woman who came down from the sky was Mary in the future and that's why they see Mary as a prophet <laughs> but she's not and, you're, and another rule is you're not supposed to have false idols so like Mary and all that stuff is considered a false idol she's not originally you're supposed I've to believe in Jesus this. only dude this is I amazing I think where Jesus become the, the Quidditch Bible. master yeah. Yeah. fucking see, captain of his Quidditch team <laughs> this is this is the see this is what I wish was back re-injected into religion now, you know back this is the sad part back in like Roman times they had all these incredible gods they were all yeah. petty assholes and they were interesting yeah they yeah. were like there was Real fighting people. they had weaknesses and strength oh they yeah. were so jealous and hateful yeah. too so, like, you can collect them on Baseball cards. Absolutely. Like, you know, who's your favorite god? Every kid had their favorite. Some could even evolve too. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. threw light. They threw lightning, or like they're a sex god, or a sun god, or a that's moon true. God. Yeah, they had gods for literally every sensation. It was so cool. Felt. I mean, it's still cool. Yeah, yeah like, and they do like cool, each like other. yeah, they did like inner inner breeding yeah. as well. Like they breed with animals and like spirits. So all of a sudden, you have like half god spirit things and all yeah. sorts of shit. Yeah, they, they, they traded this awesomeness for this depressing, boring guy, this big old white bearded <laughs> dude. <laughs> Pressing asshole on a wooden cross. Yeah, no, he was. God, <laughs> but, you know the Christian God was the first cis white male. 
It was all about the patriarchy after that. But this is also something I learned from the movie. I'm not saying I learn it and take it as actual knowledge, but this is something it was told me. It told me the reason why he killed himself on the cross is obviously to release himself of their sin. Everybody knows that. Right. But prior, they called Jesus, like, he's like a, a lamb or something. His, like, the term is, like, lamb. Yeah. Because lambs are helpless. And they used to sacrifice animals before <laughs> Jesus sacrificed himself. Adam and Eve used to sacrifice animals because it was, like, right. because they sinned, they had to continue to sin. And sacrificing animals was what they did before Jesus killed himself. And then... That's when everybody could start praying. Because before that, God, I guess he forgot that Jesus, maybe instead of waiting 400 years, that maybe you should do something. I want to know what kind of bullshit rule that is. Some powerful entities, like, actually allows a person to, you know, take on, like, a a debt collector. Like, here, you, all these sinful assholes, you can die, you know, you can wipe this slate clean if you kill, if you die on this cross. but Jeff, that's That's him. That's what he, that's that's what he did. crazier than talking To his own son. Crazier than That's what he did to his own son. Turning into people from ribs. Uh, Yeah, you know what? It's like, ah, you know. son thing really bothers Murderers, me just, because everybody if you die they're cool no but that's that's actually wrong because Jesus is God he is God to the Bible. and, God and he knew he, even, knew yeah, he the, was the, the, the son of God and he knew he was going to heaven it was a suicide mission it was a suicide he mission did it. with no consequence <laughs> because he, he went, came from heaven went right back up for eternity no yeah but keep in mind this is from somebody who kind of gets knowledge the Father, and, the Spirit, and, the I don't know exactly what they said it's all one it's all one the Father the God the Holy Spirit is still Jesus. Is bad Who the fuck is the Holy Ghost, by the way? Where did the Holy Ghost come in? The reason why... Is that in Christmas No, the reason why they knows. sacrificed Jesus is because after Adam and Eve, like, they created... He created Adam and Eve and they sinned by eating the apple. When he told them not to and that started, like, death and famine and all that shit, he, he wanted to keep in touch because, you know, he created this world for all these people and then they fucked up in the first hour and he's like, well, shit, I guess I gotta fucking eventually open up to them again. And that's why he said kill the animals to stay in touch, but then, like... I guess that's what he, he said, kill Jesus. So if you pray for Jesus after he gave up his own son, just like they gave up everything because they sinned and stuff. So he was trying to be humanitarian. So, yeah, but here's the other interesting thing is, is that Jesus had to die in order for the slate to be cleaned, right? He well, needed to be killed by by his fellow there man. There is still sin, but in order for you to go to heaven, he's kind of like your vessel. Right. But he needed to die. Yeah. So the purpose, sins. like, if anything, they were supposed to kill him. That was always the goal. No, but, but they this, had to kill him. You know what the most fucked up part about that is? He always knew they were going to take the apple in the first place. Yeah, That's right. why he put no, it there. Oh, I know that whole so knowing thing. He's right. just having fun. Like, if that, if, if you really would believe in that, God is just kind of a prick. He's like, yeah. I'm bored. Let's, let's fuck around here. Also, yeah, I don't, don't want to like jump into like, the religion, but what happened was like Satan was, was casted from heaven from the Great War because he was like his, his like right hand man and he was forcing angels. So he had like millions of angels from heaven and he was the one who shape shifted into like the lizard monster thing. Yeah. Gave him the, the apple. And yes. it was really, that's what they say. They say, like, Satan was the one. Satan who was the first altered beast. Fooled the human. Because humans, the reason why humans even do that stuff is because they were given, like, consciousness, like, thought. Like, they, they were born to think. And it's like all, you know, like. It wasn't called the, the free will? Like yes! The, yeah. Yes! That's yeah. what I was this. I knew it wasn't think or consciousness, yeah. but it was free will. They were given the free will to do something, and that's why they ate the apple. Because they, they were built with flaws like that's all i really like learned and I, I like i said i looked at the pamphlet and it basically that pamphlet thing you know are there any like, parts of those pamphlets that you think would be good to be read read this one this is what happens after you die find something right. that's interesting in there but I, I, let one, me, of the, one of those was like about a city in space yeah that's the one that's I the said, one I don't like city, it? that's called it's literally called city in space it's like one of those utopia novels you Love read it. about everything is perfect but you have to look at this but this is what my mom believes will happen jeff, when we die but chad find it jeff read it Okay, yeah, yeah, you're Jeff, you read it whenever you find something. such a lovely thing. narrator If you'd voice. like me to. I would but basically... Hand me let, the other one real fast. Let me, let me tell you something. Is. Can I first personally apologize for prior podcasts? Because I didn't know much about religion. I was completely ignorant to all religion. And I've learned a lot about... <laughs> This seventh the day seventh Venice. day Venice. I've learned a lot about it. And Space City and Three Headed Dragon. Three Headed Dragon is actually Satan. Oh, that is Satan. Yeah, it was a representation of Satan. It's like if if a fucking uh, God was playing charades with this fucking crazy old guy who was on a mountain carving into stuff, and he went up to him and put a charade in front of him. He's like, "Give me an egg, give me an e," and he fucking gives it to him <laughs> like that. And he does this, and he's like, this is heaven and this is hell. Basically, was a representation of that. I love these pamphlets where they, you know, it's a bunch of questions saying, you know, what if I don't, what if, what if I don't believe in the Bible? What yeah, if, yeah, what read about it. the errors in the Bible? Read it, read it, yeah. It's basically like, can I, it's like, why can't I trust the Bible? And the answer is like, you can trust the Bible, 
Because the Bible's true. Right. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. What does the Bible claim about itself? Answer. It claims to be inspired. It was written by men who were guided by the Holy Ghost. It cannot be broken or proven untrue. It can't be? Apparently not. It can't be. And that's the answer? No, sir. Nope. <laughs> I just love how they like they try to rope you in with like a... What if I had an argument with you, Shad, and you were like, where did you get that information? And I said, it's the information I gave you, and it can't be proven otherwise. That's like a, and I just stood up and or, walked away. It's gibberish. Like, <laughs> It doesn't mean anything. You wouldn't. You wouldn't follow me. No, you just, wouldn't be devoted to me after it's dropping like a, that knowledge you know, bomb like on po you. Political answer. You know, you're just saying something that makes you sound okay. Here, like this. This is a pretty interesting thing. If Dev should read it. Are biblical health principles tuned to the 21st century mind? If people just followed the Bible, it says millions of alcoholics will become sober, respectable citizens. <laughs> As if they're just not. You can immediately tell which audience this is for because yeah. there's a little thing here saying there will be no use for crutches and wheelchairs in heaven. Accepting Christ and obeying scripture changes a broken, immoral, profane sinner into a loving, sober, pure Christian. Skeptics cannot explain this fact. <laughs> I can't explain it. It's, it's amazing. Like, this one it's thing, a fact, too. Like, it, they actually sound like, uh, you know, like the Nazis or like just a very fascist regime when they say, what will happen to sin and sinners? Answer, God will destroy all sin and sinners with fire. This fire will melt the earth and turn everything into ashes. What did I say? Then Damn. God will make a perfect new earth. Exactly. And the holy city will be its capital. Those who are pure will be brought up to... Will be brought back up to heaven, and he will recreate Earth again with no sin. It's like no compromise. Like destroy them He's all. He's just waiting for the right time to attack. And here, heaven will bring us the privilege of becoming friends with the Bible patriarchs and prophets. Like, oh, that's so sweet. You guys can chill out, uh, play board games. See, I, I want to. If you believe in, in in this kind of stuff, that's fine. Okay, but I, what I'm saying is to hear all this stuff as somebody who's never heard this stuff before. It's definitely interesting. And, and I don't, it's like going back in time and being like, uh, why does it rain? It's because Thor is angry and he's yeah, throwing yeah, thunders yeah. for those who don't understand. You just did it. What? They're throwing thunders at people. Yeah. That's the, the freaking additional S. First of all, you'd throw lightning bolts, not thunder. <laughs> thunder's the sound. Yeah, <laughs> but second of all, <laughs> the plural of thunder is thunder. It's wrong in so many ways. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to correct you. God, no, now I'm the asshole. It's fine. It's fine. Have it's, a little asterisk. What do you yeah, sorry. no, I'm sorry. I'm People sorry. should just start doing that. Uh, asterisk, um, th thunder. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> it's it's my own fault for being a fool. Mm -mm. I can't tell the difference between thunder and lightning. Corey, you you love people. You are kind. You you try to keep an open mind. Yeah. You are willing to receive this information and judge it at you know based on your own experience rather than just following it. I don't care how inaccurate your facts are. I don't think that makes you an idiot. I think that makes you the opposite. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, and you're cutie. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> let's get out of the box. Let's go away from Missouri. Let's leave Missouri and let's talk about something. This is what I was going to get mad about. Has anyone ever stroke? rode a Greyhound bus? I've never been on a Greyhound bus. I have. No, I have. You know like most places how like you can go up to them on your phone and be like, here, you see this? This is me and this is my ticket. And they're like, Okay, you can get on the bus and like most places are like they can this is like they 2015 scan it from your phone. Yeah, it's like digital almost yeah. everywhere. You can do that. You can't do that on Greyhound. You have to print it out and hand it to them and they have to be like this and then they have to see your ID. And all you're doing is getting on a fucking bus. You're not getting on a plane. They're not going through your pockets and checking to see if you have knives and guns. They're just like I need to see your ticket and your ID to make sure you're not uh, lying to us. It's like I already spent like hundreds of dollars to ride your fucking bus. Yeah, they're kind of a low-tech <laughs> company, aren't they? Yeah. Aren't they? Their own fucking system is incompetent. They have these lines, right? You go to the fucking Greyhound place, and they have these lines. And there's like 1 through 30. No, there's like 16 through 30 and 1 through 16, right? They're fucking lines you're supposed to line up. You have your number at the top, and you're supposed to what? go into that. You're what? supposed to get in line when they call your name. What did you have to take a bus to, exactly? To go to Illinois. Oh, from the airport? or? Uh, I, no, I took a Greyhound from Missouri to St. Louis, and then oh. got another Greyhound to get to Illinois. How long did that take? Ten hours. It was funny because me and uh, me and Lexi printed off the tickets. We were like, oh, it's perfect. We're going to get there in fucking four hours. It'll be great. But what actually ended up happening was they took us to fucking St. Louis 
And we sat in there for four hours because the only Greyhound out of fucking where I was from was at 7.45 p.m. And the Greyhound don't start up till 3 a.m. or whatever. So they're like, we're just going to drop you off at St. Louis, chill out for four hours, and then we'll pick you up. And it's like, what the fuck? Parts, I don't know exactly what part of St. Louis it is, but has the highest crime rate in America. Does it actually? I mean, it's yes. It's like how airports work. If you have a layover, you have to wait, might have to wait. Yeah. I'm going to assume it's where the Greyhound But it wasn't, a, it, I didn't realize that. And it was the only one we could take. We could only take it at 7.45 p.m. So we took it and we went there and we were there and there was this one dude like I got an I got an iPad on my vacation in uh, Missouri because last time I went there I didn't have anything mm -hmm. but I got an iPad it was only like two hundred fifty dollars and it's great like I love it it's I've never had an iPhone before and I've mm -hmm. never used it but I am using an iPad and it's awesome because I can fucking play games and that's another topic I wanted to talk about we can talk about the later like free to play games mm -hmm. because there's a model of that that oh, yeah. I don't like but there's a <laughs> yeah. model of that that I do like some of these companies hire psychologists to come up they're pretty open about it too they hire the psychologists to come up with ways of developing these free to play games in order to manipulate people but there's, to spend the most amount of money no yeah but there's good free to play games yeah. and then there's bad free to play course, games yeah. like for instance a good free to play game is something like plants vs zombies that's a really good free to play game the first one and the second one a bad free to play game is something like fucking like night war or something where you do one move and wait for two hours yeah what the fuck? or you it's wait all, for three days it's all a matter of perspective yeah it's like they're, they're all built to suck as much money out of yeah. you as they can but, but something like plants versus zombies right i didn't know there was a paying option it's a free to pay you're paying for like basically what they you can unlock more things yeah, they, or you like speed that. up time yeah, yeah that's what it mostly is on most games it's a stilt thing they'll bleed you stuff and then they'll say like but if you purchase this $50 pack, you can go and play the full game, basically, if right. you buy it. But the thing is, there's games that don't do it so dastardly. Like, I played this one mall game. It's like Little Mall Story or something. I really liked it. I thought it was a charming, fun game. And I'm, I'm a faggot who likes tycoon games. So <laughs> I was playing a mall tycoonish type game, and I was really getting into it. But what I wasn't getting into was waiting for two days when I post a building. Because eventually you get to that point where it starts like stilting you and making yeah. it impossible. And they do it only after you've invested a certain amount of time and yes. energy into it. But yeah. there's some games that don't do that. Right. Like Plants vs. Zombies 2 is a game where you can basically play the full entire fucking game. You can put in 14 hours without paying a single dime. Yeah. You just... You can unlock everything. Yes. It just takes more time. But it's like, if it's a game that's competent like that, yeah. has like it feels like it's fun, then that's fine. I honestly think it would be fun designing a free-to-play game, but designing it in a way like Plants vs. Zombies, where you don't insult the player by immediately stilting them. You fucking make it so they don't ever have to do that. It's right. just if they're really invested in the game and want to try other stuff, you put it there. Yeah. Cool, you should try yeah, it's, Fallout um, Shelter on your iPad. I have it, oh. but I needed internet, so I couldn't play oh, it when okay. I was in Missouri. That's, I think that's also pretty clever. Like, you don't have to... It's free to play, but you can see why you would want to pay. But that's what's genius but, about yeah. it. You can still play the full fucking yeah, you game. Yeah, so I got all, like, I got the full vault, and I never play, I paid a single and, cent. And, and that has to be, like, you know, from down Loads. And, you know, I don't mind when people play ads in the thing because you can put ads in the corner or whatever. Sure. Just don't have video pop-up ads and shit like that. That gets annoying. Dude, the new Angry Birds, there's so many fucking issues with it. Like, people <laughs> are just so pissed at it. Because, A, the first Angry Birds was a puzzle game. There were ways of using, like, one end, you know, one bird to, like, clear out an entire level to do the maximum amount of damage if you did the exact right thing. Yeah. The thing with Angry Birds 2 is that there's a lot of randomly generated levels. Yeah. There, there is kind of a pattern, but for the most part, it's not only randomly generated levels, but the character Characters like the, the birds that you're given are all randomly generated as well. And that's cool. So well, what it, do you pay fun, for? But it's a totally different game. You pay for extra lives. You would also pay for power-ups because what what they did with this new one is one level isn't one level anymore. It's five levels in one level. Yeah. So like you'll get through four you're on the fifth one. You need one more bird. Yeah. Uh, you need one more live, bird. Like live models, that. and I've seen that. And <laughs> live, I cannot stand free to play models that use live systems to it because it's very fa unfair. Because they can sit there and crank up the difficulty at the last oh, second yeah, absolutely. and fuck you over and, yes. then, and then completely ruin your game. You don't even expect it. There's, you go into it and you're fucked. And you're just, just like, if you really want to see people... Uh, sorry, just really quick. Yeah. With Angry Birds 2, I actually do play it because I, I just don't pay for anything. But I do you enjoy some of like the competitive parts of it. You don't have to. It does definitely speed things no, up. No, definitely. It's interesting because that is such a great model to see just how blatantly they will uh, use that system against you. So, like, two, three levels, no problem. 
pass through it, no problem. And then there's the level right before you get like a free gift or something. You might spend two or three days to actually beat that level. Mm -hmm. And then um, on top of that, what'll happen is if you are, uh, if you need one more bird, you can play an ad. Yes. And they'll give you one more bird, right? That is so weird. And, and a lot of times it won't be enough, but sometimes it is enough. So it, so it works. So I always felt like with the ads, they would give it to you in these circumstances. Mm -hmm. If you run out of lives, you can watch an ad and they'll give you one more life. But then, if you beat, like, three levels, they just play an ad anyway. Yes! Like, that was happening! Like, what? That was exactly... <laughs> I was playing this game. It was a Sonic iPhone game. But it's really good Sonic iPhone game. Is it the... It's, is it the, the runner one? Yes! Chase, I like that, that one, was actually. That fucking awesome. That but mechanic get, works really well. Yeah. The escape run yeah, thing but that they do. You yeah. get... And there's, like, 52 fucking levels. There's, yeah. there's hundreds of outputs. And the game resets after level 52 and just keeps going. And you get these little companions that you can win after getting a certain amount of red coins and you can get really far but the problem is i was doing this thing where it was really like cheeky that they did it but i think it was also really clever but i wish it wouldn't happen every time i fucking do it now but you could play a video ad and then they would give you one of those like laser things or one of those drill things right along with a bubble shield so you could get an extra life if you were on the last one like you're on the four where if you get hit once you're dead yeah they would give you a bubble shield so you have an extra life, basically, and I did that and I exploited it, but then they started playing ads. And I didn't even get an option. It just yeah. started playing ads. What are the ads about? They're just bullshit, like stupid. You know, other most of these games. ads really? end up just yeah. being ads for other iPhone games. iPhone games. Yep. It's so fucked. And you know what? It's Some like a them... circle jerking game system <laughs> yeah, where everybody it is. jerks it's each it's other It's like off. this inception of fucking iPhone games. And not only that, but a lot of times there's like the X to like click out of the ad. Like they make the hitbox so tiny that like you'll try <laughs> yes. to click the X and then it opens up the app store to download the fucking app. Yeah, the website like, like it just opens the app store yeah. automatically. Yes. Like, yes. I'm always shutting the app store. You're, oh, you're, you're like why searching that is? for something and an app appears. Yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah. I don't want that. And a but lot then it goes of, to it automatically. So what happens is, is I think what they do is they um what'll happen is if you open up some sites. Uh, they'll have an ad that pops up on the site. So if you go to like a, a like a game review site, then they'll throw up an ad as soon as the page loads, right? But that ad eats up the whole screen, and a lot of times you're thumbing through the site, and so your fingers are already yeah, pressing the screen. you're not even clicking it. You're not even clicking it, so then it just takes you immediately, and some of them will just open it up. Like, it just shuts the browser down. Yeah. Here's the app store. So there's that site where they have like uh, hints and stuff, or the information on Bloodborne or Dark yeah, Souls, yeah. that Fextra or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. But they have it, if you go on the mobile site, a lot of times it automatically just shuts your browser down and opens up fucking the app store. I'm ashamed yeah, to say happens. I've actually dealt with people that want to, that was were advertising that on my site. Oh, um, they said that they could God. do that. And they're really shady. Like, they, they, they come on, they're like, yeah, hey, you want to make some extra money out of your site? It's like, how does $500 extra a week sound? They're like, oh, that sounds pretty good. Like, right. what, what, what I got to do? Yeah. And they're like, you know, just put up our ad. It's only going to pop up once every 24 hours. And I was like, all right, like, I'll, I'll, I'll bite. I'll see right. what it says. And then, like, it pops up three different ads every fucking visit. Like, you know, you're like, hey, I, I thought I, I, I thought we had a deal. Right. Like, and he's like, oh, I don't know what happened. He's out of my hands. Like, they're, they're, so, they're, they're, they're so shady. And I'm never going to I'm never gonna put ads like that on my site you're ever like again. calling them back to complain. I but remember, then, like, the phone's ringing in an empty office. Like, they just I, cleared house I and left. I remember, like, Shad, he would update me. There was this one time because I turned ads off because I always turn ads off. Yeah. But I, tur I, I go to it, and, yeah, I had three pop-ups. Yeah. And I'm like... I'm like, Shad, do you know that I just had three pop-ups and I've been to your yeah, site? I'm so sorry. Before? That was like a phase I was going through. It was testing thing. Well, the thing is, like... I'm never going to have that again. The thing is, and this is really funny, because people are always confronting me on fucking, like, on Twitter and Tumblr, and they're like, hey, did you know that people are using your porn and stuff? It's like... Like Ads? animated gifts, yeah. and, I'm oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and I'm like, what do you, what do you want me to do? Do F go put the fucking hammer down and be like, please take down. Oh, my they were porn? using Smash Girl, right? Yeah, yeah. but it's yeah. like I can't do anything. They have no morals. Like, it doesn't matter. Care. It's yeah. fucking smut. It does. There's no rules. If they steal it and fucking turn it into a porn gift for their site, what are you? Yeah. Do? You're not making. That's any like a mobster going to the cops, being like, <laughs> you know, they killed my friend. <laughs> it's like, get out of here. I'm gonna fucking arrest you. I'd say people, who, people who sell porn ads on the internet. Their morale is to maybe just like a millimeter above yeah. like like people who sell children and. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually actually. There's some people who generally want to show off their stuff. And there's some sainty like. I think there's people companies. who like they're proud of their work and they want to show it off. There's also like porn ad companies that are like um, 
they're good. Like you, you have like the Jelly Girls or whatever. Yeah, yeah. What's it called? The the F L A A. They have like yeah. a network. But it's like a network. Porn and the network, they're features. not going to be fucking you over because they're. It's like you know, it's like an iPhone. It's like everyone works together. They're yeah. not working together to fuck each other. And they up. only have banner ads. And I think banner ads are fine as long as they're not offensive. I don't know. The, the yeah. ads I hate the most are the ones where you see it's like a really grainy gif of like an animated gif of some guy with a horse dick or something, <laughs> and he's sitting there like jacking it off. Like it's they, a fucking. It's like an image harp. that was like stretched and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I'm just like, not only does this ad look fucking stupid, and I'm not gonna click it, but now I feel bad. Like, you know, now I'm, I'm, now I feel kind of like I don't even want to watch porn anymore. Like, I feel really ashamed of myself. I just click out. There's man. always Fuck like these ones that are just like, uh, like, is this fooling anybody? They're no. like flashing white and red. It's like, yeah. lick me, win something, and you're like. Yeah, <laughs> click that. With an extra ten inches to your dick. It's like, oh, I'm just gonna click this ad and bang. So I'm like, I'm always like, okay, I gotta, I gotta fucking scare the the thing over. And then these sites do this thing where they push the ad into the video, so you can't fucking minimize Windows anymore. This is a I've Google gone thing. through all of that, but I, I'm thankfully you know, I'm now like above it. But like, you have to like experiment with all kinds of shit if you, know, like, if you run a website. Do you know what legitimate website has the the most fucked up? Ads and clickbait I've ever seen. Sure. Weather.com. Weather? Yeah, they have the weirdest articles too. Weather.com? Yeah, no, it's, it's, Weather. Like, yeah, like literally, like, it sounds like the most legit site yes. ever. Weather.com. Yes. And it has real weather, but it's filled with the most shady ads and clickbait shit you've ever seen in your life. That's yeah. that's almost genius because you're getting like these old ladies and these old men yes. who are like, it is, I have this nobody confounded go, Nobody even wants to go there unless never like even occurred to me, coming. but it is totally the equivalent of like the National Enquirer. Old ladies stand. Standing in line to buy their fucking diapers and prune yeah, juice, exactly. and they see they see like Donald Trump fucking Kim Kardashian on the cover of National Enquirer, and like, they're gonna buy that. That's exactly what this fucking weather.com show. But it's I also say like, no though. They also have the best clickbait. They have, really? they have clickbait <laughs> on good. weather.com better than anything else on the internet. I have when you to, have a little picture and it says, "Will an will an asteroid d- destroy our solar system?" <laughs> I mean, and it's weather.com. You can't get better than that. You can't get better than that. <laughs> it's on weather.com. Of course you're going to trust it. it. Are we going to die in two years of yeah, Earth splitting we'll, in we'll, half? Will the sun enough. explode and destroy Earth tomorrow? <laughs> like, I, may, I don't know. I'd like to read this. That's like people... I bet news.com has shady ads, too, because people are typing in weather. They are. You know what news, they do, though? Shopping. No, no, no. <laughs> like, the New York Times and, like, all these other guys, what they'll do is they'll have their ads, and then they'll have, like, suggested ads or, like, sponsored news or yeah. something. Yeah. like that below the but actual But people news. can't tell that are like because they all think it's all amalgamation of one post. Of course they do. Like it's they like when you see, go to those download sites like uh, Media Blaze or uh, whatever Mega Upload or whatever. Or you go like Putt Locker to watch like a free stream video. Well they'll have like next to the download buttons they'll actually have ads that look like download buttons that say download this file but it has nothing to do <laughs> with the actual site that you're on. No, and you're usually grabbing yourself a malware. Yeah, <laughs> you're kind of asking for it when you go to those yeah. sites. To but it's honest. like, you risk it. Like, if you really want to see Dumb and Dumber, um, <laughs> Dumb and Dumber, and you're going to Putt Locker, you better get ready for some shady ads. Some heavy ads. Heavy, <laughs> some shady, shit. like, Have your watch. eyes and ears yeah. insulted. Like, that would be the loudest shit. Like, playing. you like the new Dumb and Dumber? Check out the new Dumb and Dumber. And you're like, oh, what? And then it's just like this loud fucking ad for like ointment cream or something. Oh, has it ever happened to you where an ad, like you know how these they're called pop under ads, yes. where they pop out but they pop out behind your browser, so yeah. you don't even notice them. Yeah, until you click yes. out of the screen, yeah, and, and then it, you're like, wait, what, what and the fuck is that? It, when when I was younger, it happened, and there was like things, like, there was like sounds playing. And I would yeah. like, hear something. Like, what was that? Did I hear that? It's like very faint. Did yeah. you hear like something? It doesn't. And he's like, what the? F-? And it really makes you paranoid. Yes. You notice it's just this yeah, fucking ad. It doesn't happen anymore because it's like most browsers know how to manage that and keep it within their okay. area. But it used to happen yeah. on Internet Explorer. And I think it probably still does because Internet Explorer fucking sucks. Yeah. But I think the absolute worst ads are when you go somewhere and it's like you're checking something out and something pops up. It's like from the FBI or something for the government. Oh, it's like, yeah. We have detected illegal content on your heart. <laughs> Right. Yep. It's like, you it's have like this to pay. big scary red block. And, and yeah. it's, like, it's like you have to pay this X amount to here to unlock your browser. <laughs> or you will be, or, Oh, and, and they do the thing where every time you try to click out, like, they give you like reverse logic. Yeah. It's like, do you want to out? Are you sure you don't or want you to can. exit into and out of this window? <laughs> maybe? Some, sometimes they just lock it and I don't know how to do it, but you just can't go out. It's like, yes. God, I've seen that. Out. I've seen that. You just have to shut down your browser. Yeah. You have to like go into the task manager yeah. and eliminate the process. Yep. It's fucking uh, ruthless. It is, dude. Like, should be illegal. Yeah. In the internet, it was way easier back then because you were looking for screensavers and you were getting malware that way. They have to be creative. Did you ever? Did you see the new South Park? 
There was the oldish new South yeah, Park. Yeah, the one with the ads. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It was fucking genius because it's what everybody experiences. But at the very end, the part that made me laugh the most is when the PC principal was literally a PC fighting ads. And at the end, and, I, and like it's like two means like, you know, PC, like right. politically correct. Right. But he's also an actual PC. A personal right. computer. And, he, <laughs> and it was just like, I, I looked at that and I'm like, my fucking head exploded because I'm like, oh my fucking god, it, I, I get it now. This whole fucking season makes sense. <laughs> There's two meanings. It's genius. But that was really funny because it's like ads bother everybody and they're really malicious with where they put them. Also, that whole thing with you PC, bro, you know, that kind of became a meme. Yeah. It kind of makes sense because also, like, people who play computer games yes. on the PC, they're always like, like you're on a fucking PC? console? It's like, you're not a PC? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> PC? You know, like, they're so elitist about yeah. playing games on a PC. The PC are el so elitist about being politically correct. It's fucking, yeah. it is genius. The new thing that's pissing me off is these, sort of related, but these spam phone calls I've been getting. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're getting more, like, threatening. You get that all the time. You're, uh, you'll be, like, working, and then someone will call you, and you'll just be like, yeah, yeah, but they're not clearly interested. Saying and you're, it. I, I, I no, they get really bold. This one was ridiculous because this. Oh, you kept it? Yeah. Oh, can I you play it? it? Yeah. Oh, it, play it's it. basically this Indian woman. It's Put like, it. hello, my name. <laughs> she says her name is fucking Annie Johnson. What the fuck <laughs> Indian woman is named Annie Johnson? Hello, I, She's like, Annie I Johnson. am from the legal department of the something. You know, it's like, I need you to contact me and talk to your lawyer and send me money. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> wait, here, let me replay this. Let me play this. It's I don't really know. Legal. I don't know. Hopefully, you. Wait. You have one message. How, like she clearly can't even read the script that she's got in front of her. Like, she just, but you, <laughs> you look up the phone number, and it's like a million people have gotten this call from Annie Johnson. What would it take in a phone call, yeah, for you to actually believe that it was a legal department of some financial bureau trying to get money out of you? I mean, obviously not an Indian lady who says her name. I mean, Annie I Johnson. feel like they would have to know information that's not readily available on the internet. They'd have to know something about me. But they couldn't say it to you because you're on the phone. Is that a rule? Yeah, because they can't just they can't repeat sensitive information because anyone could have picked up your phone. I they, my general rule is anytime somebody calls about anything like this, I immediately just hang up and block them. So maybe there's even been real phone calls. <laughs> and if I have a problem with a bank, I call them. Like, right. I feel like the general rule for me would be they'd have to send me something in the mail because I think that has to be that's traceable. Yeah. And if it's not traceable, like a phone call or an email, and there's people asking for sensitive information. You just ignore it. You ignore it until somebody knocks on your fucking door. At which point you're like, welcome in. Yeah. Whatever you need, I'm right here. Tom does something that I used to do whenever I actually had a phone. He would he would get a number and he would Google it to see if it's like an actual yeah, like, yeah, thing. Yeah. And then he if he saw that it's not or it's like people are talking about it as a scam, he will block the number. Yeah. And I used to do that. I would be on my phone, someone would call me, I'd look it up, it'd be like, Oh, it's bullshit, and then I block it. Yeah. Do, do they not realize that that also exists? Like the internet is always at everyone's But I think fingertips. it's like a fishing thing, right? They're just gonna keep casting their line until some sucker they're, falls they're, they're hoping you're a fucking... All they need is one... No, dude, what they're hoping... Russian third world country, you know, like if you're like some poor Russian you, guy No, what computer. they're hoping is you're, they're hoping you're some poor, defenseless 98-year-old man or woman who right. hasn't had a social encounter with somebody in forever yes. who got a call yeah. and they're just like, oh, don't you want to hear how my day was? And they're just yeah. like, you owe us <laughs> thousands of dollars, ma'am. Give us your fucking money, ma'am. Yeah, that, that's 90% of telemarketing, <laughs> by the way, too. It was, it was really sad. It's like also in the it emails. Is it's everywhere. Yeah. There's so much of it. Like, I, as a guy who runs a website, like, I have, like, the spam filter in my comment section, so there's actually legit people, like, not robots, commenting. But every now and then, when, I, when the spam thing breaks down, like, yeah. there's tons of messages of, yeah. like, Japanese sites trying to sell like watches, handbags. <laughs> 
handbags and stuff. Like, who who falls for that? Buy handbags made by real Japanese people. Do you remember on MSN that, like, what happened? I don't know if you guys know, like, old instant messaging, like, software. They're, what used to get people is they'd be like, did you see this photo of you? And then they would put a picture oh, yes! of something. Did you know people are talking about you? Did you see this yeah, photo yeah. of yes. you that they yeah. got online? Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. Like, that, like those websites like classmates.com. Did you know somebody is trying to contact you? Yes. Yeah. A like, and you have to pay money to see the message? <laughs> yeah. Or another classic's like, hey, honey, you saw your profile pic. Really yes. like what I see. Yes. <laughs> Here's mine. And, you, and it's like, it's like, it's like EB332444E. Four, four, four e. Yeah. It's like, I'm not gonna fucking click that's that. the other thing dude always check those email addresses it doesn't matter i've seen paypal emails that look that literally because it's easy to do you just copy and paste the html of an html email looks identical but check out that email because if you see something where it's like paypal dot you know fucking x58053 eight yeah you know dot yeah, you know like whatever hyphen something dot com you're just like Wow. <laughs> but we get like these fake Patreon things. Oh, yeah. Like, we need more information. <laughs> so many things in this world. I, I, you know, I don't care about the big, I don't care about who's going to be president, but things like when I go into Best Buy and they card me when I'm buying an R rated movie, <laughs> I just want to, I just like, what are you doing? Yeah. And this or, woman, this woman's like, yeah, I'm really sorry. You know, I had to card a hundred year old yesterday. It's like, why? <laughs> like, why? Yeah, why? <laughs> He's clearly fucking so growing. Are you really uh, gonna get fired for not carding a hundred year old? He took, yeah, you no. blue haired idiot. <laughs> it took like, you know, he took like, I saw him walking over here. It took him like twenty minutes, and I had to card him. I was like, I was like, I was taken aback. I'm like, I, I start slowly pulling my ID out of my wallet. I'm like, do I really need to do this? When I went into Best Buy to just get information. I went up to the thing and they were like, "Can I see some ID?" And it's like, I just want to know where they're. they're, they're you know, those really? people are super. I yeah. mean, look, the, fuck those people. There are they're... corporate rules where they do kind of have to be serious, but there are circumstances where, yeah, they absolutely. It is ridiculous. You could have a freaking Holocaust survivor, some like two hundred year old dude, walk up to the counter, and the lady's like, yeah, "Hey, listen, sir, I'm really sorry. It's like I forgot my ID. All I'm looking for is that new rated R fucking aliens movie. I heard it was decent. She wouldn't fucking give it to him. He could. He can show her so the, the fucking, fucking tattoo, numbers. his fucking barcode well, number." And she'd still be like, nah, that doesn't count. But all I was doing was looking for the baffling. fucking iPhones and iPads. And I went up to the information desk. He's like, yeah, we need to see your ID. And I was like, all right, well, here's my, like, fucking retarded ID. And Wait, I gave for it an iPhone? To use it, to find it, to talk to the information guy. He had an exclusive club that I oh, had to show my ID to. Them. You want to, I just want to buy a USB drive. They're like, can I have your uh, zip code? Can I have your phone <laughs> yeah, number? Too. Can I have, oh, can I have your email? Like, fuck <laughs> off. You go to, you go to, I go to, like, American Eagle Outfitter because that's, like, the only place I shop for pants. And I go there, they're like, what's your zip code? We need it for information. It's like, what do you, what? For, for, it's like, we're going to give you a card. I'm like, I don't want to card. Yeah. They just assume that I no, wanted a wait, card. Wait, you don't want to save money? Because you could save 20% right yeah, now. Yeah, and I'm like, I, I'll f lose the card and don't care because that's I, I've eaten at fucking Wendy's a hundred times and haven't used the Wendy's card that's sitting in my wallet collecting dust. You should, though. Well, you should use that's it. Why I used it once. <laughs> digital games so much because every time you want to buy a physical game, you have to like go through all these things of like, you know, like signing up for something. Yeah. Or like, you sure you don't want this? Because right. you'll great get great benefits. Yeah. Like, I just want the game. That's right. another thing with gift cards. Not to belittle the guy who gave me the Wendy's gift card. I believe that was Hector, but <laughs> yeah, Hector's, I think it was. Yeah. Hector's cool, but I used it. But I don't know how much is on it now. And I don't want to go up to the people and be like, excuse me, how much is on my... Wendy's card <laughs> and they like fucking be like five dollars and I'm like well I can get a whole nothing or I can get some fries but it's like I don't want to do that I just want to use it once and then it'd be all over and then they're like here's the money from the card I'm like oh wow it's the, it's my birthday but there's these things now where you can actually turn your gift cards in for they give you the money off of it what yeah but they take a percentage of it so if you have like a thirty dollar gift certificate they take like ten percent it actually of it. does kind of make that. sense because it was purchased yeah. through that entity and mm -hmm. if they're taking a cut they're just kind of like all right well, we get a little bit of free money, I guess. Yeah. Basically, yeah. So if you have, like, a fucking gift certificate to, like, go to something like Lowe's, and let's say you never shop there, yeah. you just give it to something like... See, this is why a iTunes place that turns and in cards. Amazon cards are actually okay in my book, only because you plug it in once. 
and you have a digital wallet and you exactly. can see exactly that's how much you yeah. have. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's like the gift cards for like a lot of other places where you're sitting there, you got like five cards in your wallet and for yeah. all you know, you, you walk have up like to the one counter and they swipe one. it they're just like, fuck off. <laughs> you have a $2, yeah, $2. Here. $2.50. There's some kind of amazing statistic of how much money oh. goes unspent from you gift cards every year. all of that? There's like, like it's a gotta billion, be billions. like millions yeah. and <laughs> millions of dollars. Yeah, this guy is, this like, this like slob is sitting there with like 14 different gift cards which he actually has like $600 on there. And he's like, I'm going to sell my Xbox games. I don't have any more money. And really, like, this was something they're doing at GameStop, where you can bring in your fucking gift cards from anywhere in the world, and they'll get, they take yeah. a profit from it, but they'll still give you money off of it. And while I think GameStop is still, like, the worst place to go to trade in stuff, the fact that you still get anything off of it yeah. is great. Because, you, again, you're not going to go into fucking Wendy's and spend $2. You're going to forget that it, how much money in your card, and you're no, not going to make a stink of it when yeah. you go in there. Yeah. You know what? The same thing happens with rebates. You get that... You know, they, they advertise it as a as a fifty dollar phone, but, it costs but really it costs you like fucking five hundred dollars. <laughs> but they're gonna give you a four hundred fifty dollar rebate a week later that you have two days to mail in. <laughs> Otherwise, it's I did that, but I got like a fifty dollar rebate. And I was like seriously thinking, is this even worth? Yeah. the trouble. You also to go have to have like a photocopy of your receipt. Yeah. You yeah. have to have the barcode off the back of the box. And I yeah. thinking, a fucking blood sample, yeah. urine sample. They're like making you work for that yeah. extra oh, fifty dollars. I want to this. I wanna I want to see something, but it's something I want to stab somebody. It does. They, my supermarket does this. You go into the supermarket. I buy food every like week or two. Everything's digital. Everything's like top of the line digital. You swipe your card. You're using digital keypads and screens and everything yeah. else. I, I do like the self checkout. Yeah, I love automated. The everything's top of the line. But then it's like a button up shows up. Would you like a? Would you like five percent off? Your order, it, but it won't give. It won't give you five percent off the order you just bought. It prints out a fucking paper receipt, and it's like you can use this next time. You just type in the fourteen-digit code on the back. Yeah, and you, and have like, like, 5% you have to print out this long as twenty-foot-long paper receipt. It's, you know, it's a this, fucking Sudoku yeah. puzzle that you have yeah. to fill out. Give this to, and once you have all the numbers, give this right, to a human next time it. or here, and you'll get. I'm like, oh fuck, I just crumble it up. It's like the old ladies with the coupons. You know where they keep collecting these coupons, and they have to like do do all this searching and cutting out, finding it in the right places. Yeah. In the end, all they save is like two dollars or something. Yeah. It's oh, ridiculous. It. Do you know those commercials you were talking about, like rebate and stuff? Those yeah. commercials where it's like zero dollars for the first five days of Christmas. Yeah. That's zero. I'm talking zero. dollars yeah. Dollars, rebate zero dollars yeah. and then you're like I got this thing free yeah. <laughs> you, you fucking get like four of them for free the week. yeah oh no absolutely and then they slap you with that bill so and when you see something charge. oh when yeah you see something online it's like get you and your family free phones for zero dollars repayment for two weeks you're yeah. like what? It's a fucking steal, but it's yeah. really twenty five thousand dollars. I don't know how people live like that. People <laughs> fall for that shit. People yep. absolutely, dude. It's it's a, all they need is a couple of fucking suckers, and bang, they just made they, they just made so much money you back. See, you see those commercials? They, they don't care if you, really, if your whole family fucking they, has to move out of their house, and you're all you're they, all like whoring yeah. yourselves they, to the, the local <laughs> gangs and shit. What's the closest? What's the closest you guys ever scammed? You think? Like, what's the to being scammed? Yeah, I, I would say the biggest scam that I have experienced experienced is going to be uh, the PlayStation Now program, oh, the PSN wow. program. How, what is that when I was that there? Is, so what will happen is, is like I looked up Resident Evil 4, right? Mm -hmm. They got it. It's like, available. Cool. And I was so excited. I, I wanted to spend, I would spend $60. I would just drop money on that game, even though, you know, going back and playing it, it was okay. But still, I, in the moment, in the moment, no, yeah, my, yeah. my past love of it, I just would have impulse buyed it, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I see it. It's on PlayStation Now. And it says you can play it for free, actually. And I was like, I can play it for free? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it says you got to sign up for as soon as you click it, it'll be like, okay, look, it's not really free. All right. We're going to do a free trial here. You get a week for free. And it turns on auto renew. And then and then not only that, it, after that it's 19.99 and it's auto renew, but it's 19.99 a month. Now in my head I'm thinking, hmm, They've got, you know, Mega Man 10. They've got Resident Evil 4. There's kind of a selection. Of, you know, maybe I'll give it a couple months, play some old games I haven't played, stream them with friends, you know. You know, just, you know, relive a little bit of my past. Well, here's the thing about PlayStation Now. Not only can you not stream these games, because the service is a streamed game service, meaning the games that you're playing are coming from a different computer. 
So you're sig sending a signal across that then bounces back to you. How fucking useful is that in any game that requires, I don't know, accuracy or pushing fucking buttons? How like, laggy was it? It Not only was it... <laughs> Chad was there. Not only do you sometimes have to wait in line <laughs> for a game to connect, oh but once you've connected... I it's mean, like artifacts. You see screen. artifacts. It, it's like those videos where they try to do these tracers that go across the entire screen. Oh, like when you're... It's like a video freeze and then it plays yeah yeah, yeah yeah like the de uh, the degrading or the degradation of videos if you keep compress or, or, or processing them or whatever yeah and then like sometimes they just straight up stop they'll disconnect reconnect I can't believe it's a thing it just doesn't seem like it would ever work see right. with with certain games <laughs> make like an RPG you know maybe <laughs> I could get away with that a little bit but can you imagine playing like Mega Man no, no, you're, <laughs> you're trying to jump around <laughs> it's, worse than that. That. it's even worse than that when they first added advertising that they were using Street Fighter 4 oh as well. my my God, no! You could, dude, any game that required any a timing, a sixty frame per second fighting Fuck game that. on a Street streaming, Fighter dude, 4. you would you would have to buy a new TV because you'd have two controllers and a console shoved through the screen. <laughs> like, there's no way you could fucking do it. It would be impossible. It's a great. I think it's a decent idea. If this was a beta service, maybe. If we were testing it, we were sending reports like internet speed, upload, mm -hmm. download speeds, all that shit. You know. I could live through the pain of trying to enjoy a game from my past and, of, and, you know, and being frustrated at times, but there's no way, like, I don't know, last month when I got an auto renew <clears throat> notice in my fucking email saying, oh, by the way, yesterday we charged you. <laughs> it was like, wait, what? No, 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 you're supposed to give me like a week or something. What the fuck? And then the best part is to turn it off because I was traveling when I got auto renewed. Yeah. So I tried, I was like, what the fuck? No, I got to turn this shit off. So you got to like log in online and there's no way to actually, without having the console, because if you have the console, you can turn off your subscriptions, but if you don't, you have to log into the site, and you just have to disconnect uh, payment methods mm -hmm. in order for it to just, so basically you just have to like block it, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But then you block everything. I got one, and if we're talking about it, you guys probably have seen it everywhere. I'll go after you, but... But I signed up with Loot Crate before Loot Crate became what it is now. So keep in mind, this is before Loot Crate was ever promoted by everyone right. ever. This was Loot Crate original. Somebody um, told me about it, and I'm like, oh, I get free, like, gamer crap, stuff that you get at Spencer's Gifts or other right. bullshit that you just get, and it's just like, oh, here, you just have some crap to decorate it's, your it's, room. Yeah, it's the shit that makes your room kind of, you know, fun and a little bit messy, yeah. but when you move out of that room, you really just throw it all in the trash. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but the thing is, when I signed up with it, I was under the impression that I would get random shit, like lame Minecraft toys and, right. and fucking, like, uh, uh, Batman stuff. Stickers. And all this. Yeah, Sonic stickers. stickers. Sure, yeah, like yeah. Fallout stickers. Just right. give me shit. I right. wanted stuff, random stuff. Yeah. But the second I signed up, they changed their fucking modeling plan to have themed random stuff. So I signed up to get random stuff. The first time I got it, it was random. And by the way, they have the sign up thing where it's like, oh, you pay six dollars or something. And it's just yeah. all this like really shady shit where it eventually goes to thirteen ninety nine or like twenty one ninety nine after oh. a while. And <laughs> so they kept mailing me shit. And by the way, there's no way to cancel it on their website. You have to fucking call them in order to cancel it. I hope to God they changed their plan. <laughs> but for me, I had to fucking contact them and say, by the way, I'm moving, and I, I just thought I'd remind you that I wanted to cancel because yeah. I'm not going to get this shit. So please don't send it. So not only was like terrified that people were gonna still keep sending me fucking loot Actually, garbage. Actually, that's a great piece of advice house. that I never considered. If you're ever gonna sign up for a service, and I should take this advice, you should try to Google how to cancel it first. Yes! Because yeah, if you can't find out how, how to cancel it, there's probably a pretty oh, good goddamn chance that they're trying to hide, you know, like they're I, trying to make it as difficult as possible. Oh, no, no, possible. no. I Googled because afterwards I was like, how do I cancel? I yeah. Googled and I saw I saw Loot Crate incompetent. And I'm like, oh, oh yeah. no, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. But the first thing was they, they sent me Loot Crate stuff was like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shit. Okay, I wasn't like a Turtles fan, but I don't mind Turtles. But I don't want these like lame-ass five-year-old <laughs> glasses and shitty fucking toys. I'm not gonna. I don't want. Stickers. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was actually in there. Yeah, I don't want fucking <laughs> Markiplier stickers and Pootie Pie fists and shit. And I was like, excuse me, I signed up for gamer stuff, not YouTube garbage. You, they fucking couldn't sell. Yeah. But the thing is, like, they were first. They did a theme where it was like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, fucking Doctor Who, which I don't even know what the hell that was at the time. Yeah. Uh, uh, villains, good guys. I think Skylanders was one of them. And I'm like, I'm gonna kill myself. I don't want this garbage. 
And by the way, uh, it may come to a shock, but when you put shirts in your fucking box, people's size isn't extra small. <laughs> so these people are going to like fucking Hot Topic. They're like, what shirts can't you sell? It's like, oh, the infant ones won't sell. It's like, give me those. I need one. We need like, because we know little Wait, babies fucking sell this Creek, stuff. When you sign up for Blue do they ask you your shirt size? Yeah. Okay, so they do ask your shirt size. And they don't get it right. And they just ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> it's random. I get they do. They ask you for all this stuff. They're like, you, your stuff. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to get all this crap. I never wanted anything they gave me. <laughs> Thank you because think it, you're important. Yeah. Is all I didn't things. get a single fucking thing I enjoyed. Should be like a lawsuit. Yeah, no, I was like, I, I, what I told them on the phone, I was like, listen, okay, you want advice? Have two fucking options when you sell stuff. And I, I know, I, and I actually did say, like, yeah. I was like, fucking, I, I was pissed. I was yeah. like, have one for random stuff. And have the other for theme stuff. Yeah. Because I guarantee there will be people who will want themes and random stuff. Yeah. You know, and they I were just pay, like, thank how much you is for your service? suggestion. How much is it? It was $13, yeah. but I think it's like probably 19 now. I would big. pay. I would pay. If I really love some of this shit, if I if I came into a lot of money, like obviously I wouldn't do it now, but if I, if I ever got into some money, mm -hmm. I would pay $40 a month <clears throat> if I could pick like 20 or 30 different things that I was really interested in and every loot crate only had things related to those 20 or 30 things. Yes. The truth. You know what I mean? Perfect. Like Bloodborne yeah. theme. Bloodborne thing. Yeah, Even don't, Hotline Miami. Yeah, I thought that was yeah, If I no. got Hotline Miami mask okay, don't give me, toys don't give me like that. My Little Pony Hasbro shit. I don't want it. It could be <laughs> right. But I mean, somebody else though. Somebody else could be like, I love Markiplier, PewDiePie, <laughs> My Little Pony, Minecraft. <laughs> Great. The, boom. That's what you're going to get. This is the thing. This is the, these companies, these like loot crate they're just lying scumbags because they'll say oh yeah we're gonna have themed stuff this now from now on then they'll still give you some excuse like you know this is what i think people want you know but it's a lie no yeah there's some hidden benefit they either right they either run out of the they ran out of all the cool stuff mm. or the company is giving them these themed items are giving them some extra monetary bonus for doing this by yeah, the way uh, think... loot crate has reached out to sleepy cabin a couple. oh yeah, really yeah, Chris <laughs> well marvel yeah i know <laughs> when 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 Avengers came out, it was really strange that there was suddenly Marvel stuff in Luke. Look, I'll take their money. Just sense. hear the ad and don't buy their stuff. Yeah. There. Yeah, I don't. I don't Have you mind. Ever gotten, if like, you a Luke item and then you like went to the supermarket and saw like a toy, <laughs> a cinnamon toast crunch yes. box, and you were like, wait a minute, I got one of those. See, that, that's the thing. And, it, and with Luke Crate, it's like you know, if you have Luke Crate and you enjoy the shit you get, that's great. But the thing is, I didn't sign up for themes. I signed up for random stuff. And fuck you, Luke Crate for doing themes when I didn't <laughs> sign up. I signed up for this stuff. So all these fucking one-up, cool kid box, fucking gamer gear, all this gay shit that people are selling that are the exact same thing, probably do have random stuff. And these motherfuckers that have all our friends promoting it just do themes. Hey, I bet the theme, that what came out? Uh, Star Wars? Gee, I wonder what the fucking theme is for the last, yeah, for, for what the month, because it's monthly. It's monthly. You get it monthly. So you feel like it's more uh, just product promotion rather than geninely giving you something that you'd want. Yeah, it's pe it's like fucking, it's like you're it's, basically it's you said. It's paying exactly the company to advertise to you. The lie, though. They will never tell you that. Yeah. And by, you know, oh, we think this is what, you know, based on focus testing, this is what people want. Yeah, people No! Want <laughs> this, is, this is making your bank account bigger, asshole. <laughs> Liar. People want these I think people really want this like a uh, size one fit no one <laughs> Kylo Ren mask that can't even fit you know. on a baby's face. You get this like tiny little mask and you're just like, I, I can't, I couldn't even wrap this around my head without it ripping, like sh shredding my ears when the fucking wire pops. I'd like you should wear this little tiny mask Dude, Corey, your face. I would love to see you get a loot crate, like a, a box of loot crate clothes. Just put it on. I, even if it rips. <laughs> even if it comes in, I, I think I pretty much, I think I have a shirt that's in a box. It's, it has like villains and it has like all the villains from it Marvel. Like and it probably comes arm. up to my tits. Yeah. So I look like. Put on the mask. Like a yeah, logo. no, I look like. Put on the hat. <laughs> yeah, I'll put on the mask that stretches over and I'll, I'll put on my Teenage Mutant Tur Turtles like Donatello <laughs> plastic goggles. Slap that pink mustache on here. And I'll come in like, hey guys, just got back from Luca. I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. It, it will be fucking vile and gross. And Dude, I don't think when you hyperventilate person. and pass out on con camera, not only will you get a billion views, but you have a lawsuit that you can fucking <laughs> sue all those motherfuckers. Let's hear uh, Jeff's thing. Oh, I, yeah, I Jeff, also you said, you said you had a scam story. thing, too. This is a weird one. Uh, you tell me at, at what point you feel this is a weird, shady situation. Even though I'm not, I'm still not even sure. Is this worse was, than Indian Annie Johnson? I don't know. Well, here's what happened. I, I was here knocking my door. 
one one day I was asleep. I woke up. I go to the door. I'm drowsy. I'm just like you know, like when you're you're more susceptible. I, I like to I like to think I'm more susceptible to suggestion when I'm sure. just waking up. Yeah, yeah, of course. And this little little Latina woman, Ooh. she's like four feet. I don't know. She's really short, nice, smiling. She's like friendly, and I'm like you know disarmed me. I'm usually I'm like ready. I'm like you know what is going on. Here? <laughs> she's sitting there, a little nice like. You know, a nice little company shirt on, little embroidered logo. And she's like, hello, sir. Yes, I am with uh, this so-and-so energy. And I said, well, I'm already paying Pico for my energy. Oh, so that's yeah, like yeah, Philadelphia yeah, yeah. Energy Company. They start telling you about rates and that you're being overcharged or that yes. you have anything. Yes. Yeah. No, so, yeah. yeah. So at first she's like, yes. You know, you went, well, I said, well, I already have, I'm already paying Pico. And she's like, well, we can save you yeah. a lot of money. And I said, oh, really? Said, oh, yes. She handed me all these pamphlets and forms. And she's like, you know, just sign them here and we'll save you money. Yeah. And I'm just like, my eyes are half shut. I'm like, <laughs> well, if you look official. I, I guess I could sign it because I didn't give her any. You didn't I didn't give her any so personal short. information. How could you not trust her? She's like, hello, Sarah. You know? Yeah, she's so friendly. And I wasn't giving her my credit card. I was just signing some forms. She's, and I'm like, well, how does this work? She's like, oh, yeah, we, we work through your current electricity company. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I guess I can try it. But then at some point, I say to her, I'm definitely going to save money doing this. And then she's like, whoa, you you might save, you might actually pay more one month. You might pay less one month. Yeah. I said, oh, really? So it was really just a total crapshoot. She's like, oh, it's more to based on the market. You know, maybe you'll save some, maybe not. Yeah. These people work on commission. So they're running from door to door to door, trying to convince you as quickly as possible to sign up their shit. <laughs> and the, and then the, the last step is, she's like, oh, and the last thing, I need your phone. I need to call my office with your phone. Yeah. Yeah, which is really so weird. weird. Yeah. And I, I, I hand over my phone up. And, and I'm like, I'm in the back of my mind, I'm like, this is just too, so strange and I don't want to do this, but I'm just fascinated. I'm just wondering where this is going to go. <laughs> I give her my phone and she calls up. She's like, hello, this is so, this is like, this is Maria. And, uh, and she said, and she quickly hands the phone back to me. She's like, okay, uh, just wait here uh, on the line. Eventually mm -hmm. somebody will answer and just, yep. just say you agree. The, you to, agree to these terms. Yeah, agree to all the terms. Yep. And, it, and she runs off. Yep. <clears throat> and I'm standing in my doorway in the rain, holding this phone, waiting for some stranger to come back. And she's gone. Do you, okay, do you want me to tell you when Good. this sounds shady? Where? When she asked you to hand you your phone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm standing there. I'm like, and I, I, and while I'm waiting for this guy, I'm like waking up. I'm like... You know, <laughs> maybe I don't want to do this. <laughs> so this guy come, came on, he's like, oh, hello, sir. Do you agree to all the terms and conditions? I'm like, and I, I reiterated with him. I'm like, can you just re you know, reiterate? So I'm definitely, there's no, there's no guarantee I'm going to save money. And he was like, no. No, there's no guarantee of that whatsoever. Yeah, because he's on, he's being recorded, so yeah. he has to do that. He's, he's just blunt. I'm yeah. like, well, you know what? I think I'm just going to pass on this. And yeah. he's like, all right. Well, I'm yeah. not sure what it was, <laughs> though. What is it, though? It was, look, basically... They were going to record his voice saying, yes, I agree to this, so they can... Basically, be like, oh, he agreed to this. They could use it in like lottering. Like they could go buy, get a bunch of money. And I don't court. know if that's exactly the case, but I don't know if that's not true because I had just really quick the exact same thing happened, but with newspapers. But it's yeah. interesting to me that the same method where the guy didn't have a phone, he just straight up didn't even have one. Yeah, and he was like, we need to call to confirm this. And then you know, it's all seemed legit. He put it on speakerphone. We all sat around the table. We all had the pamphlets, and it was like, oh hey, uh, yeah, this is so and so. I'm calling in. You know, order. Blah, 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 blah. I have them here. They understand the terms. Can we get a, you know, confirmation? We all stood there. We actually did confirm, though. Yeah. So that was a signing thing, not a phone thing. But the phone, that handing over the phone and them saying, like, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm representing so-and-so, just say you agree, mm -hmm. sounds like a tactic. If she would have ran off so fast, I, I, maybe I would have agreed. I would just... I would just stand there alone with my own terrible thoughts, and I said, this, yeah. is, this isn't right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going back to sleep. This spell was broken. <laughs> yeah, she... she I was, I was her, her I Latino was, gypsy spell. I was enchanted by this forty-five-year-old, four-foot Latina woman. <laughs> this little little witch. It was a lie. It was all a lie. Little, little, little energy. Yeah, witch. she was behind the. Like, she was behind the building yeah. like this. You couldn't see her, but she was waiting. She's like, yeah, <laughs> waiting for you to press the button. It was a puff of purple. But then smoke you're just sitting there, like you're just like an old hag. She's like, oh. <laughs> but, but you know, you guys all have like stories of like little fees, monthly fees you had to pay, and then you could like get out of it, or in your case you almost got scammed right but i actually have been legitimately robbed Tell scammed us. Tell us. just when i got out of the army this is the phase where you you don't have nothing you have mm -hmm. nothing you have to like i was like i went to like a boxing factory 
to get money. Mm-hmm. It was like this sh- really shitty job. And I was like, this is a time in my life where I should get a driving license. Otherwise, I'll be a nobody. And my dad was always like, you, you got to get a driving license. I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. Now is my time. I've not- I'm just working a shitty job and I'm tired when I get home. I got to get a driving license. Yeah. So in Switzerland, if you want to get a driving license... Okay, sorry. You know how before we were talking about how there's like a nail that keeps getting pounded into your head? Yeah. You don't have to correct yourself, but we call it a driver's, driver's license. license. Okay. It was bothering me too, but Rather sorry, than a driving license. Sorry. It's not call, your fault. You I, would have said, I would have said I got my driver license. I, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying <laughs> to be I'll, that I'll try dick. To say driver's it was license. just like after the fifth time, I kind of felt like I... To, to at least mention it. To throw the asterisks up. I'll say sorry. driver's license. Okay. Asterisks. I'm throwing the asterisks up. I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, because this in Switzerland... I will use the term dollars, but we, obviously we use Swiss francs, which is okay. almost on par, if not a little more valuable than what the With dollar the US is. Dollar? Yes. Okay. But I'll just say dollars sure, to make it sure, more sure, easier sure. to understand. But in Switzerland, if you want to get a driving license, a driver license, it's okay. you must, by law, take lessons from a professional teacher. Okay. And there has a minimum amount of lessons, which was around 10. Yes. And then you can do the test. That, they have that here, too. Oh, they have that here, too. Okay. Yeah. So... I call this guy up who's a teacher. He says, okay, I can teach you how to drive. And it's not the automatic kind, as I was telling you. Yeah. What do you call it? Manual. 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 Yeah. And he said it was like $150 per lesson. Jeez. Yeah, I know. That guy. Like, and I was like, oh, man. But why? It's how like, long oh, were these lessons? One hour. It was ridiculous. And it's like, I, that's so much. I guess like an entire afternoon. Now, is this government run? Like, is it part of. No, like- no. He's, he's, a free, he's a freelance guy. But he was like the only guy in my area because I lived in a shady town. And he talked like, he was like this older guy who was like a math teacher, looked like a math teacher, and he talked really slowly. Like, yeah. Hello, mister. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah. And so it always like be like, okay, can we just, can you yeah. teach me how to drive? He's like, yeah. And he, like, he taught, me all, <laughs> taught me all the theory stuff with the, like with the same fucking guy and do lessons with theory. But you weren't even like in a car. And those learning. also cost the same amount. Oh my and God. I, and once I got the theory down, I was like, cool, I did the theory test, and I passed, and it was pretty easy, and then I get to drive around with him. Ten lessons later, which is, like, more than a thousand, like, almost, $1, like... $1,500 yeah, yeah, yeah. of lessons yeah. later. Yeah, I was like, okay, we can finally do the test, right? And he's like, you guess what? To do the test, he drives me to the test, because I'm not allowed to drive myself. Right. So that's $150. Oh, my God. And then God. the test itself costs cost another $150, because it's a different guy who's oh a test teacher. God. So that's $300 in that day. So I'm like, okay. And I do the test. I was like, eh? And he's like, no, you'd be a, you would be a danger on the road. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Ten lessons again. Oh my get, and you god! Know I was like, okay, I, I was like, okay, maybe it's my fault. I was just maybe because, like I, I didn't. I failed. I gotta try better. I gotta try harder. Another ten lessons. No, you oh, didn't. No, you didn't. I did. No, another, you another didn't. ten lessons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did your parents oh my pay for god! No, everything me. I was working you in a shitty boxing. You did a fucking blue collar job. It cost. I I spent. Like my army money on you, it. You, you, you had, oh you had God. the guy from fucking Ferris Bueller's day off. <laughs> Tell you your fucking instructing di- direction. I, I, I thought it was important. And then, what did your family say when they, this they, happened? They say, "Get a driving license." Dri- oh driver my license. God! Get it. And like, okay, and like, you know, like the neighbors, they walk up, they see you driving around the car, and then, then when you're done, they're walking up. It's like, oh, you're finally gonna get your driver license, eh? Like, it's like this really important thing. And I'm like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm becoming a man. So aren't like, I? everybody's like supporting you, kind of justifying yeah, like, all like, of this. Oh God. Okay, okay. And I can't like make myself look like a fool. Do the the second test day comes around. Do the same thing. It's an entirely different guy this time. <clears throat> He's like, okay, I do the test. And he says, No, you're not ready yet. Again. And I was like sitting in the car and I had one I remember I had one more lesson out of the next ten I was supposed to do. Yeah. I had one more lesson. I was sitting in the car and he was like, Yeah, this happens sometimes. Like just keep doing it. I think the third time is going to work. The third time is a charm. <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. And he said, like, I never came across a case like this. This is this is so absurd. Why would you stop now? I, I've never <laughs> seen anything like this. And I was just like, I don't want to do it anymore. Do you know why? Because people would have already invested. It, I call it the subway theory. Where, like, when you're waiting for a subway train, like, you've waited so long that eventually you can't leave. Because if you've waited for a sub- Like, let's say you're in New York, right? Yeah. It's late at night. You have the option to take a cab or to take a bus or a walk but when you've waited 45 minutes for a train there's a part of you that's like well if I leave now it could show up in just five minutes now and every minute you stick around longer is another minute you've invested yeah, yeah, so, but it's also another minute it could be yeah, coming that's so it. you the longer you stay the more trapped you become and eventually you just have to say you know what fuck it this train could come mm, right right yeah. as I'm going up the stairs which does happen sometimes like fuck it I'm just getting the cab I don't even care when it comes 
and that's what you did. I was, but uh, most people, they just become, they get more and more invested and they can't leave. You know, you know what? I also think that that whole driver license thing, that's completely bullshit. You don't need a driver license. I don't have a driver license and it's just fine. There's Uber and stuff. Yeah. You don't need one. It, it is convenient to have the option. There are times where it would be, you know, like if you, if you need a re- you know, to rent a vehicle and get somewhere, it, I do think it's beneficial. But this idea of taking the test, first of all, $150 a day is so so fucking incredibly it's one ridiculous. One hour of a less than hundred. No, no, that, that, that's yeah. so ridiculous. Second of all, at least here in America, th- there's two tests, right? There's like the written and, and the whatever, theory, yeah. and the the point and click test, and yeah, then there's yeah. the driving test. Yeah. You can take that driving test as many times as you want. I think you pay a little bit, maybe like twenty dollars or so. It's, I don't know what it is. It's not very much. It was, so- but you certainly don't have to go through all the lessons again. Yeah. So you can, and, and some people it does take a couple of tries, but there is no way they force you to go through another fucking fifteen hundred dollars, fifteen do you do hours. Do it was for I- for like where I come from, where it is to get your license? No. It's thirty five dollars to take the test and fourteen dollars for your license. But do you have to take lessons? No. You just take the test. Could you like just teach it? In guy? high school, I took driving lessons. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying school, to like, help you. Get yeah, it was like your dad just teach you how to drive. Or oh, oh, there's like a rule. Yeah, you're right. There's there's a rule where you have to have recorded at least a year with a uh, adult uh, figure. Uh, in yeah, the yeah. Car. Someone it has, that has a recorded. license. See, for so some reason, proof. in Switzerland, it needs to be a professional mm-hmm. because they don't trust anybody else. That's fucking stupid. You could just have someone who can drive. Yeah, they're that, a professional. Yeah. They got a fucking B or A. For some has to be like guy who teaches you. Like the correct dude. Way. That's that's bull. That's absolute rip off nonsense. Garbage. Yeah, that that sounds like that. You're right, dude. And, and it kind of makes absolute, sense why they make it scammed. such a big deal in Switzerland. Because like, oh, you're finally doing it. Like you're doing that big step because it's like this really expensive thing. And you know, in the end, I I was more than three thousand dollars like shorter. Yeah. And I walked away with nothing but like bad experiences. I hope those guys. I hope that guy specifically has a head-on collision with an unlicensed driver. Yeah, that's but, what I. But it's not. It's just his job. Like he, it's his job to be a horrible person. I know. Person. I, I think if anything, <laughs> that the teachers who were at the test, they were kind of dicks for just being like. Again, like not good enough. Like, they go, well, like, what were they measuring? Because yeah. I, I did it. I know, knew how to drive. They should, they should have a clipboard and they mark off every single so thing, and then they hand it to you and they say these are the three things or the four things that you missed. That you know, like you, you couldn't parallel park or you hit a cone when you did this turn, and that way you know exactly what you missed. So you know what there is to no fix. cones. Do you know what we don't drive with cones? Do you know we drive on the actual road? It okay, well then they tell you that you missed this turn or you did you drove too fast, so you know exactly what happened. Do you know what's fucked up? When I was like learning how to drive, before my just my license expired, I never donuts got it again. in your driveway. I don't know if I can say this because it's it was bad and I shouldn't have done it, but it's <laughs> you know live everything. In your it's life. like too late now, and yeah. it's like what are you gonna do? They, they're gonna catch you now. I used to drive. I didn't have a license, but I used to drive. At a park mm-hmm. at night when there was no anyone. It was yeah. like one in the morning and I used to drive around the park. Yeah. And I would learn how to turn that way and learn how to stop yeah. and like this make landmarks. That's a very it, that's one of those but, things. Like your dad or your uncle yeah, or your but whatever my, is and like, my dad, Come on, let's go drive. Yeah, but yeah. my dad I didn't have my license though, but my dad'd yeah. be right next to me and he'd be yeah. like, Before you get your license, you know, yeah, you can take your fucking test, but who yeah. cares? What you need to do is have actual driving experience before you actually go write your test. Yeah. I was yeah. saying to Chris if, if But if that's I don't know if that's bad. Like I was no. I didn't have a license. No, he was next to me. That's not bad, dude. What what would be bad if he was like, "Hey, let's go to the park at night. I'll teach you how to drive here. Uh, you're not allowed to drive, so you can put your hands on the steering wheel. You got to sit on my lap though, and I'm going to no. I'm going to push all the the pedals." I drove. And, and I, that that would be bad. I liked driving, but then That'd I be got molestation. I I have this weird thing and I know <laughs> I have this weird thing um, when it comes to driving, and it's my own personal, like, phobias, but I freeze up when things don't go the way when I'm driving. I'm alert, everything's happening, but the second someone isn't driving properly, or they're coming too fast, or they're fucking up, or they're cutting in front of me, I freeze right. up. So I'm not gonna drive, I'm not, I'm not ever gonna drive in a car with you. Well, it's something I have to get over. I need to go to a parking lot, a big yeah. abandoned amusement park parking Corey, lot. Let's, let's, let's do a parking lot, buddy. Well, I'll take you to a parking lot. I need big, baby big boy. steps, baby steps. I was, was, was gonna let Chris drive around my Jeep around the yeah. mall parking lot. But oh, cause he was, yeah, he was gonna do the license. I guess. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, like I need, a, I need a park where it's just completely abandoned with like two cars Here's, and it's an amazingly big parking lot. It's absurd though. I, I, I failed my, I failed my written test twice. My mom was pissed. Me too. But that was challenging, but the actual driving test is absurdly simple. It is. Yeah. You, that, that is weird. The guy, this guy who doesn't give a shit, gets in the car with me. He's like, "Okay, driving this track around a circle. 
and then parallel park. Another thing, like, uh, when it comes to that, when you're talking about, like, it's so much easier to drive than take the test, mm -hmm. because in the fucking test, they have situations where you only run into them on occasion. Like, oh, there's a giant fucking semi in your way. Here's this blind spot. Here's this blind spot. Here's all the other areas you can see. Here's what he can see. What area should you be in at what sort of time? And it's like, yeah. I don't know. When I'm fucking in that situation, you have any semi sem situations where you have a semi at that exact time? It's just embarrassing to hear stories like Shad's story, where, like, you know, clearly he got scammed in, like, this system. That And then here. Yeah. I was fucked on fucking 76 East just today driving from Chinatown back to the house. There was at least five people that were not only not signaling, but they were speeding and weaving through traffic. Yes. And somebody <clears throat> felt at some point that it was totally okay to hand these people a license. Each one of those guys is a fucking wreck waiting to happen. Every day I just see people. I don't understand how they ever... There's people who, who, who come to a complete stop on an on-ramp. Or don't yeah. know that don't know what a turn signal is. Or yeah. just like they don't fucking use turn signals. You. They, they, they think like turn signals are like some assistance. Accessory. Like they're just yeah. something like oh yeah okay, they, they to, drive to through fair. the curve rain and just keep going straight and you're like that yeah. doesn't make sense to be fair all this stuff you're talking about is in Switzerland like not the case oh, yeah. everybody what do you mean? can properly drive like and get their roads feel really maybe, safe maybe that oh that, so you're that, meaning that, that that maybe they're just really, that forty five hundred dollar yeah. license yeah. really meant yeah. a lot to them yeah could be. maybe that they're just really hard because I was gonna say it's almost the opposite here because I've heard a lot of cases where where people said that in the test like after they took the test the 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 tester that they had looks over and is like ah, i don't know i could go either way on this like <laughs> like a, you know you did miss a car. i probably shouldn't do this but yeah you can get a license and they just like sign the thing they're like yeah, I, I fuck off some of people start crying and stuff and they're like okay you know yeah. or, <laughs> or you, you come in and there's like this girl her like tits are hanging out she's yeah. just yeah. barely legal and she's like well i got i gotta get ready to go to the prom you know i gotta yeah. i gotta have the nice like corvette and he's just like well you know promise me you'll be careful he's like can you get out of the car and do a spin for me <laughs> Here's your license. I'll say this. If you, you got Corey, the car <laughs> tester. If you're, no, if, you, if you're listening to this and you're, let's say you're 15 or 16 years old, mm -hmm. be prepared to lose a few friends. Yeah. You're going to lose a few in the next few years. You, you know what? what? You know what happened to me? My, my license. Crap. They're going to crash. And people are going to, it's inevitable. Oh, I thought you were going to lose friends because as soon no, as no, you no. got your license, they're gonna all lose. your friends are going to fucking, no. well, I mean, they I were mean, just going to ride, they were going to freeload in your car, <laughs> not pay for gas. They were going to eat. Eat in the back of your car, leave all the trash everywhere. You'd go to a party, they're gonna puke in the back seat, and it's not even gonna be your car. You're gonna be driving your parents' car. Then you had to explain why your friends were either A, in the you know, in your car to begin with, because you weren't even supposed to take the car out, but B, well, why it smells like fucking puke and booze in the back of the car because you weren't supposed to be going to it's a party. More with like, booze. It's more like <laughs> they're gonna decide to pass a car on a blind turn and you'll never see them again. That's that's exactly. what I meant. No. So, do you, are you saying you know a lot of people who yeah. died in car crashes? I know, I know, I know at least half a dozen people who died. Jeez. I know quite a few too, but like more on bikes than cars because one, of Switzerland. One guy, yeah, a lot of them, half of them were during winter. Oh, yeah, winter uh, winters, man. Dude, I have, I've gotten in so many near like death car yeah. accidents yeah. with my friends. Yeah, just be eating food and suddenly the car spins out of control and there's cars everywhere and I'm just like, I'm gonna die with a fucking burger in my hand. I'm just, for some reason, <laughs> the, the series of events you just described, you're driving, you start eating food, your car <clears throat> suddenly begins to spin out of control and as soon as your car is done spinning, there's just cars everywhere. They're, they're, I'm just curious, like the imagery they're, they're, of like the series of okay, events. If there's roads coming and your car is spinning out, there's in fucking your cars like this way and you're just like, yes. but somehow I never, you know, it never happened. Yeah. But there's been times where, and this is another thing, like, I don't know if it's anecdotal evidence or if it's, like, um, my own, like, uh, observation, mm -hmm. but have you seen how old people fucking park? Have you seen, like, some old people, like, are on curbs and shit, and it's just, like, uh, me and Lexi were at Target, and this, like, old motherfucker was near the door with his car, where the fucking automatic door opens, he was, like, a fucking five feet away, and it's, like, that can't be where you're what are you gonna do? to what are you, park. What are you gonna do, yell at him? <laughs> He's fucking... an old man! He He's an old be... person! He can't even crazy. They can do whatever they want! It's There should be, like, a rule where it's, like, okay... Um, there you know, should be a certain age where you races, have to repeal your fucking driver's It's true, license. it's true, but people of races got their own race cars they keep close to their pocket. Old people, they know they got the old people car. You, you think they accidentally can't hear things at times, convenient times? They accidentally park their car inside of the doorway of Target? Dude, you think Nick, that's all an accident? Nick is ageist. No, 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 no. They are fully ageist aware. They are fully aware. They're gonna, they're gonna have those eyes kind of wandering around like they're lost 
when, when they do something wrong, and as soon as they turn around, they're like, oh, I'm there sorry, I didn't see you there. They turn around, oh, that fucker, that little fucker, that little motherfucker. That happened to me and Shabby. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's that guy. Your face. Fuck you, you motherfucker. That's <laughs> here now to talk oh, about Oh, the old guy across the street or something? No, no, no we in this store. He was just, I don't know if it was just like what we were talking about offended him, but he was just like adamant even, about screaming. Yeah, I don't even remember what we were talking about. I, we were just talking about porn and stuff, and yeah. he was just like, you motherfucker, <laughs> you fucker, and he like waited outside, and he was still screaming, and I was like, I don't want to go out he there. Like, <laughs> stuff. He just walked up, you motherfucker. <laughs> He looked like Doc Brown from yes! Back to the Future. Yes! He was insane and he was pacing back and forth and looking at us outside. I'm like, he's you gonna, know, gonna, he gonna kill us. Point. <laughs> we you two, after all. We looked exactly like we Jeff did. Just know a bunch you of guys, fun-loving it would have been him. He would have been happy to do it. I was some old family man and I was listening to your, the conversations you were having. I'd be like, you know, I'd say the same thing. You no, know, we were like, we weren't talking about like eating ass and, and, and yeah. like uh, horse fucking. We were yeah. talking, he would have gone outside. We were having a polite discussion about. Like, I'm on his side. Yeah, dude. He would have gotten into his like handicapped spot and his freaking in his fucking you know, vehicle and <laughs> just drove you, it right into the store and run you guys you over. You should have seen his eyes. There were there was like true anger and true mania anger. in those eyes. Very mad. And then the lady next that was like doing it, she was like, we were just like buying like candy. It's and shit. really hard for me to determine if he was crazy or legitimately just upset. I know what you were saying. I know. That's what I don't get because he was still screaming while people were looking at him. He was and so pissed. So he clearly got all this stuff and he knew to leave, but he still was turned and screaming at I just like the idea of pissed off Doc Brown calling you guys motherfuckers outside of his store. I, I got yelled at before, but I used to work in a supermarket when I was a teenager. Why'd you get yelled at? This, this old man was looking for carrot juice, and there were there was none. What he really? Carrot juice? Fuck, he, lost, he lost his fucking mind on me. <laughs> Why? He was like threatening. He was like one. He's like, get me the manager right now. I, he's pissed. This it, like, dude, there's no carrot juice. <laughs> I was that? just confused with you, where I'm like, I don't. I don't know. I'm walked away. We walked away. <laughs> this old man is just screaming at an aisle of food. You get back here. You can't run. You know where the carrot juice is. <laughs> oh, back in the oh, back, you know, back in the day, this is what I had carrot juice, and it's not here anymore. <laughs> Did we ever go over like bad movie theater stories? No. I, I have one. I had. I actually had one when I was in uh, uh, Illinois. I can you can go first it. if you want. Because I, I also kind of wanted to like talk more about. Because you guys are talking about old guys, and yeah. I really, I really want to say this Greyhound story. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a guy I met at a Greyhound story. Well, I shouldn't say that. I was just playing an iPhone game, and this <laughs> fucking guy. He was like, he was like behind the trash can. He was like, "Hey, what what the hell is that thing?" And I, I'm like holding the iPad like this, <laughs> sitting there, and I'm like, "It's an iPad." He's like, he's like, "You want to know something?" And he's like, he's like. Kids these days, they they have their face in their iPad. They don't even know what color the sky is. Oh, it's like that long. Yeah, and yeah, he's like, know. yeah, but he, you know what's really funny? And this is fucking hilarious. He goes on a rant about how he travels and him and his friend. And he says this thing about his friend. He opens up his laptop and this is, in, he's like, first of all, he opens up his fucking laptop. For, right. So he's, he's scolding me for having a fucking iPhone and he pulls out his fucking laptop out of his dirty backpack and he puts it on the fucking trash can and then he turns it around and he's like, isn't that a pretty cat? And it was like a leopard or something on his fucking <laughs> minor desktop thing. I'm like, yeah, that's what, a like nice a cat. wallpaper? Yeah. And he's like, that's my brother's cat. Let me tell you something about this pot potential cat. This cat was the nicest fucking cat you ever saw. And he went on a rant. It was an actual leopard? It was a leopard that was declawed, as he told me. And he said that in his it story. It was a fucking National Geographic it, Yeah, JPEG it was clearly. That he just save as exactly. wallpaper. It looked like one of those National Geographic books, you know, like with fucking geo books, where it yeah. has like pictures of lines and shit. It yeah. looked like that. And he's telling me his brother had like a fucking jaguar or something. And a bulldog killed the fucking cat. And he's like talking about how the world perceives like wild animals and it was just a defenseless animal too. And I'm like, I'm sorry, your, your fucking crazy leopard got killed. Your brother's leopard died, dude. Sorry. And he's just like, I love Pink Floyd. And he's talking about all this, <laughs> all this f fucking music now is all noise. You know what I'm saying? He kept fucking saying that too. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Lexi. Like he kept on being like, he was holding like a water bucket. He's like, this isn't water. You know what I'm saying? This is... <laughs> 
<laughs> this is that other stuff, the shit that gets you fucking wasted. Yeah, fucking LSD. Yeah, no, he was no, he was just like he was this old smelly hippie was out of his fucking mind, and he was playing. First of all, he was like, let's play the like he's like I'm gonna play some good stuff, and he's putting like fucking Pink Floyd and all this old shit, which was good like 70s, 80s rock and stuff, yeah. and he was playing it, but he was blaring it through the entire fucking Greyhound station, and everybody who was sleeping because it's two in the fucking morning. Corey, he's blaring. Corey, you know what? You by placating him and letting him open those floodgates, when all those like sleepy people who just wanted to get to their destination open their eyes, just crack them open, and, and and were trying to look for the source of this disturbance. You know what they saw? They saw you. They oh, saw yeah. you next to him. They thought you were cohorts. And when you got on that bus, everyone on that bus wanted to fucking murder you. This is this is the best part. Okay, so after him and Lexi give me a lecture on good music and and like a good old, he's like you know he played fucking like air guitar. He'd be like. <laughs> He'd like be doing it in his seat and he'd be like, like how old you know what I'm saying? Guy. He'd be fucking, he told me he was 50 and he said in his youth he could do all this stuff, like he could run 30 miles and it's just like, cool dude, I'm glad you were fucking amazing on your LSD trips. And you know, I was trying to be nice and talk to him because he already, he already made me feel bad and I had already yeah. put my iPad up because I didn't want him to see me playing with my fucking iPad or he'd scold me again about not knowing what color the sky is. So what ended up happening was, after he showed me all this stuff, he's like, you see that icon? It was like Cookie Monster with vegetables. He's like, what the fucking hell is this shit? <laughs> Cookie Monster doesn't eat fucking vegetables. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, I was afraid that he was eventually just going to beat my ass. And so I didn't... I was just agreeing with him because he was scaring me at that point. But then he, then he fucking told me, he's like, you got an internet source? And then I'm like, yeah. And then he's like, Look up the YouTube channel, uh, Yorick442, and he's like, you see that channel? Give it a few likes, share it to a few people. I want to get some views, you no know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and he was fucking, he was promoting his YouTube channel and he was scolding me. Dude, if you had a, if you had a <laughs> Wi-Fi connection, the very, you could have ended the conversation. He's like, man, do you even know what color the, the sky is? And you'd be like, yeah, and you just Google it and be like, there you go. Show it to him on your fucking iPad and be like, guess what, fuck off. I was man. afraid he would pull out like a fucking 12 gauge and shoot my head off. He looked like that kind of person. You just what do you blow mean? your head off. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> this is the 12 gay shotgun. Eventually, like after he was just playing music and stuff, and after he showed me his YouTube channel, and I, I convinced him that I had it open on my fucking iPad. His bus came, and he was leaving. Hey, what kind of content was it? It was just like music. It's like fucking all this music. Can he, we? Li I want to. I want to. Yeah, channel. I want to. Oh, yeah, we should look up his channel. What was it? I just want to say what he said was. You know, all these young people, they think that they're smart with their smartphones, but they're not smart because they can't look up and see what the sky yeah. is. <laughs> it was, yeah, exactly. It was like sage advice from some psycho who's trying to show me his YouTube channel about 70s songs. Never it's, it's a cute line. Yeah. Bus stop it is cute. It's cute. And it's true. Clearly, just because you have a smartphone doesn't make you smart. And clearly, young people have fused vertebrae in their necks and they are unable to look up. Hey, I'm he part of that generation. Of he was drunk. That was the thing. Yeah. That's why he was playing air guitar to Pink Floyd in a, in a fucking uh, place because no one else in the right mind would do that. I'm part of the smartphone generation, but I fully agree that, yeah, we look at our phones way too much. We, we do, yeah. We do. It's true. Someone made like a famous painting about some like weird distorted face with the nose looking down and it's just like our generation. It was, it was like making a blight on our generation and he was talking about that and I'm like, okay, I'm sorry, you know, we live, I, yeah, I enjoy the fact that I can have internet whenever I want yeah. and that I like Wi-Fi and yes, I am connected to the internet all the time. But at the same time, it's true. Is like, there a problem yeah, with it? Maybe I want to live my life connected to the internet. But at the same time, it's true that we don't need to know what our Twitter oh, yeah. status is 24-7. No, it's, like, it's yeah. true, true. But then yeah. he was like scolding me for not knowing how to skin a fucking animal. <laughs> okay, so, that's... yeah, before that, he's like, if someone has put you in the wild and give you a knife, and you would have lived there for a month, I bet you wouldn't be able to fucking kill a single thing. You know what I'm saying? And you'd be like, I knew how to skin an animal, I knew how to make a house, and I'm like, it's just like, imagine someone with an iPhone and the guy's telling you about you survival know, my stories. You dad's friends say shit like that. Yeah, it's yeah. this dude's like, like 50-something, he's talking about survival. It's like, you know what, motherfucker? Pretty sure I, I could a attempt to survive if my life depended on it. Okay, you know what? You know, just because I don't know how to skin a fucking animal, I could figure other stuff out. Yeah. It's like, just because you're fucking bare grills you know in the making. Anytime they do that, I love it when they try to drop that on you. Like, because my, my ex-father-in-law, he, he had some friends that, you know, was, oh, you don't know how to chop down a tree correctly, or you don't know how to do these 
these things. And granted, these are these are good skills. Yes. But if you're gonna get in my face, old man, listen, I, I got all the respect for you. Okay. But don't don't try to drop don't try to guilt trip me because I don't know how to like defeather a fucking bird. Or skin because an animal. The next because time you try to ask me how to forward an email, I'm gonna tell you to <laughs> fuck yourself. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, you know what yeah. <laughs> There's clearly different skill sets and, and abilities that we all have. He's act he's treating you like you're some little hairless kid with a little phone. Like you're twenty five, yeah. you're a man with a beard. You're yeah, like, I'm just hey. sitting there and I'm being polite and being like, mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, it's like Pink Floyd, like they were progressive at the time. If you could appreciate Pink Floyd, you should also appreciate what's progressive right now. Yeah, right. Exactly. Right. And this is just one of those things where it's like they're like, I don't care about what now, but you need to care about what I like. And it's like, fuck you, yeah, it's dude. Like, dude there's- it's like take your own advice. Fucking and, and, and you know what? I didn't even subscribe to your fucking YouTube channel on the internet. <laughs> so fuck you. <laughs> You should, have looked him, you should have looked him dead in the face and been like, wait, this video? And then slowly hovered over the thumbs this down guy. and just clicked the d- dislike button. You would fucking right beat me to face. death with Jaguar on that 